This video contains subject matter that may be offensive and disturbing to some people. If you are the type to require a warning throughout a video or show, let this message serve as your warning. This channel discusses the harsh reality of true crime. If this warning is not sufficient for you, consider a different genre and unsubscribe from my channel immediately. forests of the Pacific Northwest. I bid you all good evening, or good morning as the case may be. <laughs> yeah. Alright. What's going on everybody? Alright, back to the the grind, <laughs> as it were. <laughs> you know, just over and over again. All right, hopefully the, this guy gets caught soon. Uh, let me get the, the actual normal music that we play in the background. Amy Hig again? <laughs> what the heck's going on? Yeah, it was a little bit of an Art Bell homage right so you can see there's still you know there's the school again I mean they're zooming around all around in the area this Side down, round and round. Flagging on donations lately. <laughs> hey, well, thanks. Without you, we'd be in a horrible position today. So thank you very much. Uh, what's over 500 mean? Over 500 likes? All right. So anyways, what we're doing on this channel is, um, you know, I'm pretty much, I do like mapping and try to figure out where people are and stuff like that. And. I know it's more sensationalistic and inter entertaining and interesting to be on the ground right there and, you know, it just is what it is, you know. Uh, I mean, I actually uh, have seen a YouTube channel grow 40,000 subscribers just on this case alone. Just, it's not even a case, it's just a manhunt. It's not even a really a true crime story. It's just sort of a, you know, an interesting saga, right? And, uh, man, I wish there was something like that in the realm of just doing true crime that was like that, but it doesn't really exist. So, anyways, what we're going to do is listen to the scanner audio, because last night, seems like around this same general time, it was getting pretty crazy. Wow, hey, Cadillac, jeez, thank you. <laughs> Hey, you guys are awesome. Correction, call form. I'm in the lobby if you're ready. I might be doing some shows on the road late at night coming up here, just so you're aware. You know, maybe like 7 or 8. Dispatch, this is 112. All right. Brand new line, all clear. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a, definitely a niche that people like, and you can kind of do it in any case. You can just, I mean, what's weird is these same people are the ones that were, you know, standing outside of like people's homes and screaming with a bullhorn, and yet when 
I go to an apartment complex just to film where a camera is, I'm, apparently I'm um, harassing people when they weren't, there was not a soul in, around, man. These people are crazy, uh, lunatics out there. Good. Do you have to switch the bank? Hear the Heading over channel. east. I'll let you guys know later. No, that's why I don't want. It. Yeah, it's just. Um, I don't know. It's it's funny how the trolls turn something. Where I literally was going out of my way not to bother anybody when I went to Idaho. I've only been there one time. I spent one day going around looking at stuff. I go, go into a parking lot of an apartment complex, film up at a camera, and doing just doing my own thing, not talking to anybody. And some whack nut job jumps out of the apartment and comes Can't after me. Directions. And what they what did they want me to do? Start fighting somebody when I'm 350 miles away from home in a place I don't know anything about? I just de-escalated and walked away. You know. And then the, the same wacko started following me around in a vehicle, a truck even. All right, it was it was crazy. So I actually had to call 911. Turns out the guy is the person who released the surveillance footage. Oh, check the warrants. So why did you release the damn surveillance footage then? Ridiculous. Yeah, what's the company warrant for me? 1652. I thought I thought he was absolutely nuts. That person. I didn't even know who he was. I wasn't even talking to anybody. There wasn't a soul walking around. And all of a sudden, somebody jumps out of a door. You know, that, that's weird. That's weird stuff. Right there. So, anyways, I don't know. I mean, I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to be uh, doing. I mean, these, these clowns go out and get right in people's faces. See, this is a different type of case for them. And what you guys aren't seeing is their real selves when they go live in places. They go right up on the doorsteps of like the family members of a criminal and start harassing the living shit out of those people. Uh, this is a case where there, that doesn't exist as an element. Yeah, he is a fugitive on the run. The black Honda CRV not occupied with the lights on in the middle near the dumpsters. P Ridge. No, I wasn't I wasn't trespassing. I wasn't trespassing. I actually called the cops, and when they, they I said, yeah, I was on a, in an apartment complex uh, parking area, and they go, yeah, you know, you weren't trespassing. They, they don't, they, nobody looks at it like that. You can just walk through parking lots all the time. Okay, it, it just, it is what it is. It's like an easement almost. <laughs> it was so ridiculous, and that's what the trolls like to throw in. You weren't trespassing. Ooh. Like it was really like this really bad moment for me and it really wasn't I, I literally feel I was proud of the way I did the trip I absolutely treated people I uh, didn't uh, nicely I didn't uh, you know get in anybody's way or bother anybody at all uh, this guy just jumped out of an apartment building I don't know where he came from that's it and he's the one that released the footage it's the same guy I saw the picture of his name and his face as the guy that released it, it's the same person. So, anyways, you guys can people can think whatever the hell they want. They like to do it to try to make me look bad, and they're just wrong. They weren't there. They didn't okay. see how it went. Okay. All right. I was just trying to bring it on my car radio so I could listen to both. Yeah, pretty much. And of course, they leave out all of the stuff trailing up to that. Anyways, um, what we got here well, is the. We'll not out. sure what I just uh, deleted. Three nine, okay. There's only one helicopter there. Yes, you need to call on command, please. Go ahead. Yeah, keep trying that main dial. It's like 15 clicks or something. So it's the B407 one. Now, well, it, it wasn't. It wasn't Julius. It wasn't. So. So like on the last show we Allegheny Hall is clear. 
Seems like they're really... Allegheny Hall. Can you go again? We're Pretty busy. It just keeps going. I thought there was sightings. You know, the days sort of blur together, so I don't remember which day was which. And by the way, uh, Julius, nobody can read your comments anymore. So even though you think you're typing, it's they're hidden. Oh, God. Can you go again? Where are you? said Allegheny Hall. Yeah, okay. Oh, it's having myself in the same sewer. Clear from Allegheny Hall. All right. All right, 1233. You get 5 to 1233. Well, maybe that's... Can you just do this, too? Maybe it's some other yeah, incident. This is all the incidents here, though. Whenever there's civil and rats, then I know... 5230 only. Civil unrest, right? 5230. Okay, Nick, Wesley, Paul, 92, I copy yourself on Wesley for Upper Chester Valley Trail. And yeah, see, this is all stuff down here. He's not down here. So you got, like, everything you're hearing is all the events, you know, everything. It's not just the manhunt here. So when you're looking at this, and you look at that, uh, let me just show you. Um, so the inf the zone that they have surrounded, it starts right here in this corner and comes down like this. I mean, it's almost exactly what they have here. And then up, and then you know, right up like this. So this whole th this flight is right in the entire area. It's pretty good. I mean, there's a lot of areas here that they're not covering. I mean, what I'm always wondering is, are they, do the pilots of these helicopters, hey, thanks American lady, are they just flying around and doing what they want to do? Or is there people on the ground that are directing them with coordinates? Something like that. Or some other person back at command that's telling them something. So that's the area. So that's the school right there, that little dot right there. And the school in this one is right there. So they did include that town there on this, this loop, but that didn't look like that. Hi, Bonnie. Hold on, yes, okay. Hmm. Weird, Betty Freeman. Probably. 43492, that's doing stuff. Yeah, 43492, okay. 31591, number 14, East Walnut Street, number 1 to 4. See, the thing is, is if he's clever enough, right? Thanks, Joel. They believe that there's smoke inside and believe that someone is in the residence. If this guy is clever enough, well, well, yes, okay. he could just see where the helicopters are. Okay. And when the, okay. when the helicopter goes by, okay. he could just. Okay, one, five, one, eight, one, our caller is not. And when the helicopter goes by and it's far away, he can just run across a field because he can see where there's flashlights and everything and do whatever he's going to go do. I mean, it, it, since there's only one helicopter out there. If he's hiding in the bushes and he wants to make a run across the field, he just waits for it to do travel way over there somewhere and then just goes boom out in and does what he's going to go do. And then if there's any lights or flashlights, uh, flash lights in lights, it says, Jesus, in the uh, field, then he knows, hey, there's cops over there. I can't go there. I can go. You know, because all the police, what would really work well is if officers all had night vision goggles on and no flashlights. That would be an amazing way because you could just be start moving in, just kind of keep monitoring. Oop, there you go, boom, there's somebody. He can't see you because it's probably pitch dark out there. 
I'd almost tell all the, uh, well, you can't really tell them that everybody would turn their lights off. Yeah, <laughs> look at, there's one of the eaters. Man. That's where we came up with yard. Remember that? Unit 33, Paul 18, Marchwood Apartments, 105, Coach Lane, in front of apartment 187. For an accident, hit and run, black SUV, just hit our colors. Oh, well, no, that makes them blend in. Last seen headed out of the complex and possibly made a left onto carriage. 26, Paul 41, we'll be clear for now. How do you know that right, the scope has a, a light on it? Where does that come from? Yeah, 36, Paul 11. Hey, Cadillac gifted five memberships. Lisa, Jennifer Hayes, Linda Miller, Seven Beauties, Judging the Carolinas. Mm -hmm. where, did, where, where did he tell him that though Cameron see every time I ask that question you always follow up as if you're the source I mean tell me where you're seeing it you know send an email or whatever so I can read it on the air uh, he's been nifty so far he couldn't be out of yeah, the Portugal area 92. Yeah, okay a news article a phantom news article okay can Where is the grid pattern? For I don't know. This is what they're doing right here. Four, four, the helicopter. One five one ninety one for fire. There's no condition inside the house. No resident inside. And thanks, Cadillac. Four four crowd. One five one ninety one. Probably some condition in the residence. No one inside. Not saying I don't believe you, but I always like when people just send me the link, then I can read it. You know what I'm saying, Cameron? <laughs> I mean. I'm not the other people. I, I, I like to have things verified, you know. Either you hear it on the scanner yeah, or there's an article where I get to see. All right. Look at that face, Cameron. Yeah, closed earlier. That's Nothing almost like the camera. straight eye face. Uh, eye. Yeah, four three four ninety two. Yeah, four three four ninety two. Eight three seven four four. I'm just checking for a assignment. Eight three fourteen. Right, and CCF ending 40513. Can I get the on call to my location for one SUV? 15491 for fire. There's no condition inside the house. No resident inside. Full four crowd. 15491, copy smoke condition in the residence. No one inside. There's a 65. Okay, at the press conference, he said that it had a light on it. I don't remember that coming out of the wording. I know it had a scope. But. God, I mean, what a ridiculous weapon to just leave. <laughs> but he'd also be an idiot to turn that light on ever. 92 a copy. Don't you agree? Because it, it would light up like a Christmas tree if these guys had night vision out there. Thank you, Linda Miller. Hold on. Shots are engine 65, almost on the scene. Police cars are locking us out at Long Jack. Hmm. I feel me blocking. I want it to be the night too. I want it all to just go away. You know, one five twelve ninety one. Hello, Chevron. Fire requesting that your vehicles be moved so the fire truck can pull in. Yeah, we're taking care of that right now. You know, one five twelve ninety one. Okay. 
And I actually believe you, Cameron. I just need to see it, you know. Like, it's one of those things where on the screen... You need to retrieve all that. Seven sixty seven going right over the top of it. Unit three three Paul Fry's copy of the Audible Berkeley Alarm Automotive Training Center one fourteen at thirty six thousand feet. The entry, exit, by the way, student entry door. System fifty two Chester fifty two units returning available. Spoken to homeowners waiting on Pico. One am twelve. One am twelve. By the way, I apologize to uh, Plato and Zozo yesterday. I was kind of, I wasn't in a great mood. I got to be honest. <laughs> a lot of bad news all over the place. A lot of crazy shit going on. And, you know, just wasn't uh, wasn't my wasn't one of my finer days. I can tell you that. Uh, you probably could, Cameron, or are we friends over there? <laughs> Uh, just what we all wanted. If anyone starts shooting in the dark, it will be bloody mess. Yeah. Okay, something came on the phone. Engine 65, Chester. Oh, I guess we have communicated. Engine 65. Current food here for the heavy smoke condition will be in service and ventilation. I hold it to the apparatus on the thing. Mm -hmm. A news conference early today, Pennsylvania State Police Lieutenant Colonel George Biven said Cavalante stole a 22 caliber rifle equipped with, there it is, it does, I guess he did say that, that a flashlight and a scope. So he must have said it at the press conference, I just missed that. <laughs> From the garage of a Chester County home at around 10 p.m. Um, that was yesterday, right, like at uh, 10, per, 10 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. And so I think it was right here. And he stole it out of a garage. At, and there, there you can actually see the garage on that shot right there. Up here and then um, what was the other part? Uh, let's see. The homeowner saw Cavalante, drew a pistol, and fired at the fugitive. Vivan said there's no evidence to suggest he was struck by multiple shots. I think he was probably looking for a place to hide, ran for the garage, saw the firearm, grabbed that, encountered the homeowner, and fled with the firearm. Man, it makes you wonder, does he sleep in people's garages late at night? You know? Like... He, it's three in the morning. He sneaks into the garage. Unit three, three, Paul, sleeps. You know, just... The homeowner called police, but Cavalante had fled by the time officers arrived. In the driveway, authorities three, three, found. Three, three, Paul, okay. So right uh, down here, they found a green sweatshirt you know, three, three, Paul, and white you know, T-shirt believed to have belonged to Cavalcante. He was seen in a similar sweatshirt on a surveillance video over the weekend. Yeah, so that green know, sweatshirt with a hoodie. That was found there and a white t-shirt. So he obviously changed his clothing. And now Andy now he has different shoes on. So he has different shoes, different clothing, uh, likely still in the area. But man, if it's dark clothing, he's in a much better position. That green hoodie was stuck uh, yeah, like a sore detail. thumb. Um, a sore thumb that I've never actually that seen uh, that they referred to.
37 Paul 4, you grab the phone assignment, please. Okay. I'm sure there's a ton of abandoned sheds and so forth out there. Yeah, it's a Paul 41, you've got it. Okay. What are these things? What is this right here? Is that hay or? Oh, that's, that's confusing. Inches, that is. What is that crap? <laughs> that's such a weird looking thing. Three six five eleven. We're still looking. Yeah, three six five eleven. Copy. Still looking. Hey, it reminds me of Prince, you know. Yeah, it's all for you. Yeah, two six, Paul twenty-eight, five years south, two hundred blocks, Eagle Road. Is that a that's a tree or like? Yeah, it's all for you. Yeah, all one, Paul forty-one, proceed priority. Probably took a bath in that one. Just put it in your notes, bro. Yeah, so this satellite image right here is from three months ago. So this is the most accurate one we could be using. June 2023. Pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. All 11, copy and 13. yeah, but it looks square, you know. Doesn't look like anything. Look at that. Like, like <laughs> It's a weird ass looking tree, don't you think? Yeah, what if he never gets caught? Boy, there'll be channels with a million subs as they track down Cavalcante. What will we all do if it doesn't get caught ever? Yeah, by the way, if you if you want, if you could hit that subscribe button, like, share, and subscribe, whatever the hell it is. Uh, we cover all kinds of different crimes here, and like earlier today, we covered two cold cases that were just solved using uh, DNA on both of them. Pretty crazy. Those were nuts. Yeah, you'll see people with beards because <laughs> they haven't shaved uh, like full-on Santa Claus beards still covering it. And we cut to the next scene. They're 90 years old. Uh, Cavalcante has been dead for 50 years, but they're still there, boy. Hey, thanks, KB. I think we'll end in his death now that he has a guy. Yeah, yeah, I think there's almost no... The second he's seen, he'll get blown away if somebody sees him first. Me too. I want him to be caught right now. Yeah, just to get back to... Sort of some normalcy. It's wild. There's people out there that are rooting for him because they just like the whole thing, you know. The... Thanks, Shelly Ann. Thank you, Greg. Good welcome. <laughs> Remember that? <laughs> good welcome. Yeah, three, four, four, 14. I think I still need to make that mug, right? The good welcome mug. Because I think one night I said, I was going to say good evening, and then I wanted to say welcome, everybody, and I said good welcome. Yep. Don't remember what day it was specifically, but uh, that is what happened. Yeah, three, four, Paul, fourteen, one thousand five, Mulberry Street. One, Hello, zero, Cindy. Zero, How five, are you Mulberry doing Street. this evening? Heard audible burglary alarm. Called in by the homeowner. Five was coming in from the entry garage door, and the homeowner just disarmed it. Those people are hoping he gets away, or yeah, they're just, it's just weird. They, well, they're hoping he gets away because there's a lot of people rooting for him now. Thank you, great. You know, they're actually rooting, like, yeah, oh, wow. And what they're doing is they keep disparaging the cops, like he's somehow cooler and a, like a hero to them. You know, it's weird. It's a strange way that works, right?
Like, oh man, he's outsmarted him all the way, man. He he's doing this, he's doing that, and then basically what you're saying is you just love what he's doing. It's great. No, not at all, Gray. What I'm saying is I wish there was more competent police in there. No, that's not really that's really not what you're saying. You're excited that he's getting away and you'd actually be upset if he got uh, uh, caught within the next 10 minutes. I just started watching. You know what you'll hear, you guys? I just started following this a day ago. I can't believe they caught him today. Yeah, well. Was he, were you bleeping me out? I didn't say anything wrong. Alright, <laughs> I'm Tom. Yeah, we got a wild one. Here we got a wild one. Yeah. You think some of these sightings are false? <laughs> I think some are. I think some of the ones up north were. That was that was me, Linda. I did that sound. I don't want to freak you out or anything. <laughs> How do you root for someone that killed... Well, they forget that part, Dina, but it's just it's part of the story. I mean, I mean, you know there's a few YouTubers that are just loving this is still going on because, man, it is. It's like Christmas over there. Absolute Christmas. I uh, wonder if it's because so many movies have painted criminals as sympathetic characters and heroes. and. Yeah, maybe could be I just think you know there's a lot of strange thinking in society just like I explained earlier about how I'm harassing somebody when I hadn't seen a soul seven people arguing males and females no weapons no one talks Mickey one oh oh it doesn't seem like there's as much chatter about this case. I wonder if they've sort of um, been... Yeah, because the ones that had the chatter were these specific numbers, like Patch 65161 or something. And now it's just kind of West Police Dispatch and Central Fire... That's the actual north-south orientation there. Yeah, I can... Uh, it's... Waffle six. I'll be okay at Marshall's or Everhart Park. All the locals are on edge. We are happy to see Border Patrol and outside law enforcement arrive today. Yeah, cool. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I, 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 I do, I have to admit, like, the live streamers are providing, you know, I think in some ways it's sort of comforting to the, the people living there because they get to sit in their house and then watch and sort of feel a little bit of comfort. Can you please find me on Depot Yeah, I think that they actually are providing a little bit of comfort to the people that live there by having, doing the live streams. You know, and just showing outside, and there's somebody walking around, and you know, they make maybe makes them feel a little bit safer or something. And so you got to give it credit for that. That's my one. Yeah. I mean, it's obviously something that people like because I don't think I've ever seen, uh, you know, uh, channels move up that fast with subs. I mean, unbelievable. The area of Sedona Tap House, 131 Bridge Street. Her suspicious condition. Caller could hear yelling from her mm -hmm. apartment. Sounded to be like a female. Yeah, Chloe's going did not crazy. see anybody in the area. Yeah, I'm her. We doing, Chloe? myself and Sam the fire. You sent me down the call, Sedona. 215491, okay? Caller lives at number 45 North Main Street in the apartments there, where she could hear it from. <laughs> Look at her hair. What, what yes, happened? Yes, she's changed to a domestic. With... Okay. Before we respond, if you can get her information, we had a similar call from, I believe, the same person last night. 
Yeah, the the, the thing about uh, what I, here's what I think with the, uh, the deal was with when I went to Idaho, is you know I just went there you know shit like almost a year after the incident there, but I mean people are probably really sick of people showing up there. You know, uh, I tried to avoid everybody I could, and I was just trying to show, like, you know, there, there, there's surveillance footage over there that really makes a huge difference in the case. And I was just showing where it was, but apparently, you know, this guy probably, so many people have been walking around, and then he comes jumping out. But I didn't do anything wrong personally. Like, I literally was being um, totally polite to everybody, wasn't in anybody's way. You see me on camera, right? There wasn't a soul around, really. I mean, one time there was a guy had had a truck uh, of his own. So I don't really know what, why people try to turn it into something else other than to, like, intentionally try to make me look bad by leaving out how it all went. You know, it's just... Um, it's it's insane. I, I wish we could... I, I, I That's the thing I can't stand is when people intentionally edit something and try to put it in a way to make you look bad and then they word things like oh look at ooh, look 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 i think i'm probably the least um damaging of any whatever you want to call it like of all the youtube channels i i think we make an actual difference here with what we do and the one time i get out in the field some somebody jumps out of an apartment and i really didn't do anything <laughs> you know so these people think it's funny to try to go, oh, look, hey, look at great, look at great. And, and they're just liars. You know, they try to, they, you know, even though they're showing the actual video, it's the way they portray what's in the video that people believe. It's a little bit like spirit boxing, uh, spirit box. You know, you're reading a spirit box and you'll just tell people what they're supposed to be seeing and then they believe it. Mm-hmm. What do you mean? Yeah. Well, this is different. Yeah, I think this is totally okay here. Hey, Dave, how about you just let me talk about what I want to talk about, okay, buddy? Dave, it's it's definitely not about you, or you tried to make it about you for a second. Yeah. Anyways. 7-5, same two traffic. Yeah. Well, they're getting tons of views, though. I mean, like, it's taken me five years to get to 114,000 subscribers. And these couple of these guys got 50,000 in Lincoln, eight days. Lincoln, Victor Lincoln, yeah. 2105. I'm from the Python. That's two. You know, 3-4, Paul 14. Your status? Paul 14, I'm okay. You know, 3-4, Paul 14, okay? Yeah, that's what I think, Amber. Yeah. And yet the same people go yeah, watch the, that static. crap. <laughs> it's just... Yeah, Dave, it's Yeah, no, Dean, that's what I'm saying. Three, four, four, you four, went five. from like yeah, 60 three, four, to four, 100 five. in four days. Right. Well, that's the thing. It's a good idea if all you care about is being covering the really popular cases and doing nothing for anything else, Cindy. So, sure, it's a good idea if, if your whole goal is to get as many subs as possible and as many um, super, you know, like, they. He, I mean, man, it looks like a freaking uh, bingo uh, parlor over there. Uh, so it's like, um, you know, if that's what your goal is, is to just cover the really, really hot, big cases all the time and never do anything at all for the cold cases or anything like that, then yeah, it's a great thing to do. It's great. It's awesome. No, it's not, Cindy. It's not, it's not that. There's other people getting the story out. It's people trying to capitalize on what's, being, what's popular instead of 
ever doing anything about like there you'll never see just a random cold missing person case being covered by those people because it's, there's nobody watching it they don't want to watch it since you status okay Okay. But, I mean, I think it's, you know, if that's what they want to do, then it's great. But it's not, okay. I don't think it's moral, you know what I mean? So. No, they weren't the only people talking about it. Uh, that's, that's all you watch, though, Cindy, so I know you're really into it. So. Let's see. The viewers are what scares me when it... Yeah. God, you should just see the... <laughs> it's wild. Mm -hmm. All right, Cindy. Well, you're you're on the wrong channel then. I think you should go watch those more often. All right, because um, we cover cold cases and all kinds of stuff way more often than the current ones. So you must be bored stiff. I would go definitely go check other places out and show up here less. Um, let's see. Uh, but those same people also share such dangerous wrong information. Yeah, well, it does happen all the time. There's been a lot of errors and absolute bullshit that they... Ah, not really, Cindy. Of course, Cindy, but obviously you don't like what I cover here. I've heard... Uh, you're, it's, you've made it clear, okay? Seven five uh, Andy three. Can you call in for a second? Uh, cold cases are the ones where you never know what, who, or where it was missed. I don't know what that means. The part at the end. Seven five Sam three might be on uh, CPD. You might not be able to copy you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, we, when you say more victim focus, I'm just reading what Stephanie typed up in there. I am just trying to find a YouTube channel with more victim focus cases. I mean, we, if you go back to the, on the previous show from this one and listen to the first hour, that was all about two cold cases that were solved. And we read through the newspaper articles of what happened to the victims. And then you get the really positive news of the actual arrest of two people based on DNA just in the last couple of days. Thank you, Cadillac. Yeah, I mean, uh, that's cool. I mean, I'm glad, Cindy, but it, sometimes it makes it seem like you're, you always kind of talk about how great it is to just keep doing the, the current cases because that's what you like. So, I mean, what, what do you like about my show? <laughs> you know, what do you like about it? Because I do cold cases all the time. I, you know, I cover Koberger and shit sometimes and things like that. But because it's going on and I've been covering it since the beginning. But other than that, we do a lot of uh, cold yeah, cases. Here with the morning. Thanks, Cadillac and Amy Rasta. Even though I'm so mean. Thank you, guys. Wow, got really fortunate tonight. Twenty four S one CJC security clearly check. Hello, Santa. Hope so. Copy. <laughs> you like that? Dana Dane likes my no filter attitude. Yeah, sometimes it gets me in trouble. Man. Yeah, but they're, I, I, I guarantee it, though. See, now it's going to be a, a thing where every kind of case and then these people will show up and it's going to get bigger and bigger, 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 bigger. I wouldn't be surprised if um, those guys had a, like a 500,000 subs really quick, you know. It's okay. You know, that's what they chose. It's cool. 
I'm just not really in a place where I can do that. Like go travel around and sit in a place for eight, nine, ten days. You know, I've got uh, a wife and dogs and, you know, <laughs> other work that I do, another job, you know. Four, four, so. six, ten, eight, two, ten, eight, one. Yeah, the Crystal Rogers case is really interesting, isn't it? Do you think you will do another show soon on the Cousin Elizabeth? I don't know. It's hard to... There's really not a lot of... I know there's some information on behind the scenes, like there's people interested in certain people, so we'll have to see what turns out, of, you know, comes of that. You three on both sides and copy stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was a, a troll account there. Let's see. They're doing something entirely different. Yeah, well, they, well the, here's one of the problems, though, Cindy. Is let's say there is a case that's kind of interesting and it's now and I want to cover it and I'm looking at it and those guys show up on the screen on the scene it just sucks the oxygen out of the room for anybody else trying to get an audience to cover something you know what I'm saying so that's one of the things that's a little like it's a little frustrating but you know it is what it is <laughs> Yeah, so you think he's out of here, Matthew? I don't know. I don't know. This is their area here that they're looking at. This is an area that I um, put a... I mean, this just looks like heaven for somebody trying to hide from people, don't you think? See that? Oh, okay. Hey, Karen. See that? I mean, look at this. This is just pure woods so that's the place i had but they have this whole area right there and then last night we circled this area because the helicopter was just going all around here but um you know apparently that's where they found the uh, well the rifle was well there, he was hovering right here though the helicopter the rifle was found there oh so that's a that's a better map there so there's a garage right here <laughs> That's the garage, and the driveway's right there, leading out to the street. And so he was shot at, and he ran out and dumped, uh, what was it, the, the hoodie, a white shirt, at that point. Yeah, the perimeter, yes, yeah, 10 miles in, it's 5 miles, 5 point something square miles. But ten miles around it. Well, I can I can tell you actually. Hold on. Right. So here's the measurement. It's ten miles almost exactly around and five point two three square miles. No, I think he's for sure. I think he's right in here. I think they've got him boxed in. He's There's just so many. I mean, just look at what we're looking at in the air right there. Then you zoom in, and a person is like, here, I'll just, I'll draw a little tiny circle for a person. How about that? Hold on a second. 50. 258, Edinburgh Road, 258. <laughs> Let's just say that's the width of a person if that's a car right there. Yeah, zero seven five one copy stop five hundred block gap. Yeah. Eight three nine five nine copy stop twenty two hundred block Highway. Can you see that little red dot right there? Twelve fifty two fifty Edinburgh Road. Look at it. Seriously. Copy no response. Look at that. Tiny, tiny little tiny red dot there. And you're looking at this whole place where that little red dot could be. There we go. Look at it. Coming in, coming in, coming in, coming in. Where is it? Where's the red dot? Where's the red dot? I don't even know where I put that. 
cat. Where is it? I've lost it already. Hmm. Weird. Tiny. Yeah, he doesn't seem like somebody's going to harm himself. Brownstone Jim. Seems like somebody that's going to... Uh, Zero seven pull one. Yeah, yeah, he's going to just keep he's on trucking out it. there. Evidence room. Cold cases would fascinate you. Oh, I think so, yeah, too. Okay. Linda. <laughs> I mean, get, grab a box of a cold case. All the stuff that they had, and you put it all together in a puzzle. 3 9 pull nine, status fine duration. Okay. Most criminals, when desperate and tired, stay in a five-mile radius of escape area. Well, they've already... He's way outside of that because he drove. But what you could say, based on what you're saying, is where he dumped the truck, he stayed in a five-mile radius. Because that would be a second escape, sort of, right? Like, Or the van. So the van's right there, right? So if you were going to do five miles from where the van is... Um, well, five mile radius is right there, so inside of that. So he's definitely been inside of that. Yeah, he's too much of a narcissist to harm himself. Four one five fifty. I don't know if he's a narcissist, but <laughs> yeah, he seems just like a crazy psycho. But he could be. I don't know. I don't know. Him. He seems like somebody that's... He's out there to get away, not kill himself. Yeah, World Ball 50. 500 James Hans Court. 500 James Hans Court. The Collegian Charter School. Yeah, Great. it looks like they've definitely... Everybody's on a different... All into the next one. ...channel. Copy that. If you were to put money on it, yes, where is your team. best guess to where he will be found? Um, let's see. What was the end? I didn't see what the end was. It eighty percent no. <laughs> uh, let's see. Unit seven five fourteen request coming from a student currently. Well, oh, this is a spot that I was looking at. Village. This Warwick County Park. Request to escort her over to Kiwis and Quebec Lock. Because it's so much, so wood is there. We're here, we'll take it. From by Sam Kiwis, okay. And there's a creek in there. He could be traveling around. Is there a 360 degree camera in there? Let's see. Maybe. Maybe right there, possibly. Let's see. Oh, look at that. Somebody literally... That was a 360-degree camera. So that's what it looks like, you guys. And this is April, so it's way more dense than that. This is right when the leaves are starting to come back onto the trees. But that's what it looks like in that area there. Um, I, think okay. oh, I think I just lost... Oh, there we go. God, I sure hope I saved that. If not, we'll have to build that perimeter again. Man, you gotta work on your humor there. Danello is found in my sh shoe. What? Does he need a compass? He could be in Canada by now. Why is he staying in this area? Neutral base. Well, because he can't. He's having a hard time getting by the perimeter. I guess that would be it. American lady with that weird, that face, that's uh, the straight face. <laughs> I'm never sure what that means. Uh, let's see. I'll, I'll, I'll do a poll for that one. When will he be caught? Um, 
One to two more days. Three to five. And uh, that's it. I can't imagine him being. I should have won longer, but I didn't have a third spot. I guess I could do it over on this screen. Yeah, there we go. She's with Paul Seven. They'll be walking the queue up. Mm -hmm. I can't do okay. It's called French Creek State Park. Uh, yeah, it said it on the screen when I was zooming in on it. See that French Creek right there? And there was a park on it a minute ago. They're on Paul Seven. I'm okay. You need three nine Paul Seven. Okay. I, think I must have turned it off. Yeah, there you go. Warwick. Well, it said Warwick County Park. Three to five? Jeez, really? Warwick Woods in, in an old campground, that's huge. I don't know, like he stole he stole a weapon here. Not here, let me get rid of this one. That was just the street we had earlier. And then I thought, yeah, so, I mean, he was, he dumped the van there, then he stole the gun there. So somehow he made it from here up to that house with really, I guess, not being seen, but then was seen here and then shot at. And then I think he might be up in this area right here. From there, he maybe, he, he stays in the woods, goes right across, quickly gets into the woods there. And then right here, he would have to make a pass by this house. And then maybe go over Mount Pleasant Road there. So right where he would cross here. Because he's not, I think he avoids being out in open fields. So basically, he makes it at night sometime, gets through this yard here. But there might have been cops here. I don't know if they were parked here because they were parked on the perimeter. And then he rushes into the woods over here, and then he's got just, you know, tons and tons. Hopefully the park here has trail cameras, though. That would be pretty useful. 4-1, you know, your five. Fifty, okay. What do you think, um... You know, 4-1, call 50, okay? Raven, where, where do you think you know, it was? Five, 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 okay. As he was small enough to fit. I guess I should take it as a, t a compliment that Cindy watches my show even though I don't cover stuff that she likes. <laughs> that's, what, that's how I'm going to look at it. Because he was small enough to fit. They should uh, just start playing Prince music out there. Maybe he'll start dancing naturally, and they'll see him. You just never know. Hey, let's see what the helicopters are doing. Uh, it must be... Is there another one coming back? Or uh, So right now there's no air coverage out there. Yeah, it's probably, usually, let's, I can tell you what it's doing if I go over here. and You can see it usually on the ground. Well, don't see it anywhere. Here, let me, let's refresh this. Oh, man, I'm going to lose it. 
No, that's good. Yeah, it's nowhere to be seen. You know one five, Sam eleven, secure. Maybe they 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 want him the helicopter to leave, because they know when the helicopter Disregard, leaves, please. he he one goes five, on the Sam move. Yeah, it's a like a seven seven thirty seven. Security one oh four to dispatch. Yeah, there's no helicopter. Could be getting gas though right now. <clears throat> I'm doing a walkthrough in Commonwealth Hall. Oh, there's a storm? Okay. That makes sense. But why, Cindy? Why? I mean, it's... <clears throat> go to the school and blend in? Come on. You don't think a teacher would look over and go, Wow, who's this new student that didn't check in anywhere? He's doing a and copy of South 2600 Black Lincoln Highway. Security 104, okay. Security 104, okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, I see him there. Hold on a second. Whoa. If you are wise, you'll listen to me. I think he's about the same size as one of those. No, not Johnny Depp. <laughs> Johnny Depp wasn't in that one. Uh, Johnny Depp's um, Johnny Depp's version of Willy Wonka was one of the worst movies ever made. It was horrendous. Yeah, but why, Cindy? What is he gonna go sit in class with the kids? I mean, it just unit four three four ninety two arrival heading miles eighty one point three. Let's see, how long can he last without food and water? Well, there's a lot of water out there. <laughs> hey, it's Zozo, my buddy. <laughs> hey, it's good to see you. Even with the mad face. He could hide in BR or many places. And by the way, uh, if you missed the last show, I did talk to Dan Carr. He's, you know, he's he just had a, a really weird struggling with a, a crazy, you know, situation. So, uh, we're, you know, he's cool though. I mean, it was fun talking to him actually. He made me laugh a couple of times. I made him laugh, though. Fun. What do you think of that? Yeah, yeah, I, I made Dan Carr laugh. I told him when he shows up, everybody's going to go, hey, you know, because everybody misses his humor. Be right? at the park with vehicle driving on the pad. It definitely offsets me. When, I, when I'm not being funny, he helps offset me. I can tell you that. Yeah. <laughs> That's for damn sure. Yeah. He was really good in 21 Jump Street, though. Right? Uh, risk 603. <laughs> By the way, I got a, a new 360 degree camera. That's going to be sweet. It's the same caliber I don't know JK is just kind of yeah 40 on a copy I don't know what happened to him yeah 
get back to you, Sam, for you want, okay? I always like JK. Yeah, five, 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 copy, stop. Guess he didn't like five, me. Five, Barbie, Bailey, Yeah, they're not the, um, I'm just waiting for the helicopter to maybe show back up again, but I don't even see one. Well, there's one here, but that's doing something different. It's not related. Yeah, so the area we're looking in is usually about right, right up in here somewhere. Five, five, four, five, my sense. okay. I shouldn't have left the area because I... Yeah, five, five, four, five, okay. Of this struggle to find it, but the um, you know, this is the perimeter that they have set up right here. The van was dumped right on the south western corner of the new perimeter, or somewhere right around in that area there. And then the whole perimeter goes up here because he went inside of it and stole the rifle right here, and they don't think he's made it out of here. Um, if I was them, I'd put uh, maybe a hundred officers up in this these areas up here to make damn sure. Like I would actually maybe put some over like this and around like this. And I don't know how well they have it. And they need just more people. <laughs> this is what the problem is. Lima Romeo Kilo eight zero five three. Lima Romeo. Kilo E053 to be a Nissan Rogue. Okay, hold on, I'll be back in a second. Nina 52156 comes back to a 2021 Nissan 28 Espina, Rasbusius, 300 Don's Edge Lane, and x -Men. is valid, no SNRs, no ones. Nina 06 Paul 1, NBC check for a phone assignment. Okay. Mary Bravo Foxtrot Five two five fifty six comes back in a two thousand fifteen Hyundai to a Gina Mancuri eight twelve Vision Road. Is valid now as an Arsenal. One four seven one ten eight. Twelve fifty six. I got me. My session. Ninety two. I'm back in the township and clear. Five two five fifty six. Okay. Wow, that was loud. Let me see what's going on out there. Let's see, we've got the. Uh, isn't Fox 29? Maybe they're still running around. I think everybody's done streaming for the night you know the the streamers and um, you know like fox 29 was driving around there are a couple streamers out there uh, there's actually like four people that are one of them sort of pretends they're there live streaming they stream everybody else's live stream but i think it, it's like uh, uh, nick and jlr are the ones out there Uh, the backpack, what did they say about that? No, they never said where the backpack was found, so I wasn't able to put a pin. I don't know what time it was found. Somebody said it earlier, though. Maybe it was... Oh, wait, what's this one? Oh, yeah. So here's something to look at. Um, so the van was found right here, right? Then right here... He was spotted on this side of the road, or at least the south side of the trees. So I don't know if that means this side of the road on the south side. But he was crouched down yesterday at 8 p.m. And then, uh, do, do we have a time on the uh, rifle? 
Let me look at that again. Let me go find that email that uh, Oh, I can't find it. <laughs> what happened to that email that you, Cameron sent me? Oh, no, he didn't send me an email. It was uh, Facebook. <clears throat> All right, let's look at this again here. So, escape murderer Danilo Cavalcante, who has been on the run in Pennsylvania for nearly two weeks, stole a firearm from a homeowner's open garage and remains on the loose in the communities being warned to stay inside and keep doors locked. At a news conference early Tuesday, Pennsylvania State Lieutenant Colonel George Bivens, or Bivens said Cavalcante stole 22 caliber rifle, a 22 caliber rifle, equipped with a flashlight and scope from the garage. Oh, and it also said it had a popcorn maker on it with, oh, no way to set off the popcorn. Okay, I get it. From the garage of a Chester County home at around 10 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time Monday, the homeowner saw Cavalcante drew a pistol and fired at the fugitive. Bivin said there's no evidence to suggest Cavalcante was struck by multiple shots. Maybe that means they didn't find any blood. I think he was... Probably looking for a place to hide. Ran for the garage. Road. Ran for that garage. garage. Saw the firearm. Grabbed that. Encountered the homeowner and fled with the firearm. So what time was that though? Anybody know? At the time of his escape, August 31st, Cavalcante was awaiting to be transferred from county to state prison to serve a life sentence for stabbing his ex-girlfriend Deborah uh, Brandeo to death in front of her two children in 2021. I mean this is a monster here you guys. So it was 10 p.m. Okay let's see. Are you sure? Where, where'd that one come from, Cameron? Where'd that one come from? Get an unknown email call in saying she screwed up, was mumbling, and then disconnected. No answer on call back. Okay. All right, so there You're you go. Welcome. That's um the same day. So this is yesterday. Or was it two days ago when the van was dumped? I mean, aren't you guys getting a little sort of like, what day is what day, right? Was the, wasn't the van dumped on the day before that one? Okay, now it's eight last night. Uh huh. I know that. But when did he dump the van? It was on the tenth, right? And does anybody have the time of that? Man, so what was he doing? Four, I'm okay. First time I heard her name. Okay, so anyways, he dumps the van there. Oops. <laughs> and uh, he he's seen crouched down over in this area. So he's following along that road. And then once he was spotted, he goes, oh, shit. And then, uh, so somebody just said that was 8 o'clock. See, 8 p.m. he was seen crouched right here. So I don't know how he could be 8 p.m. getting the rifle. At 10 p.m. makes more sense. So he makes his way over here and at 10 p.m. steals the rifle and he gets shot at a couple times and on the way out he drops his um, that green sweatshirt with the hood on it and a white shirt that he had underneath and he, at this point he already had a new pair of Security shoes. Security 104 to dispatch. So maybe in the garage he found a new Security shirt to wear. Proceed. And then he's heading in this direction. So where does he go from there? Look at the amount of woods Hall is clear. inside this. If I was them, I'd be looking in this area okay. right here. This area here it looks like a joke. I mean, you'd find him in an hour. This here is a nightmare. This is a massive amount of trees. And I'll, hey, I'll do it again for the people who are... I didn't get to see yeah, yesterday. Block, the, block, I like to use it as an example of how dense it really is. We just go here. 
right where this creek is, and you look at this, and you'll say, wow, that isn't very d dense gray. Shit, look, you can see right through that. But this is March, right? So you back up, just keep looking at the trees, and I'll show you what it looks like in August, which is close to this time frame. Look at that. I mean, a damn rainforest looked like uh, you couldn't find a damn thing in there, right? So this is what it looks like right now. And that's what it looks like in March. So that would be easy to find them if it looked like that. But the canopies and everything that are in there currently are uh, ridiculous. Yeah, it's crazy. So that's what it looks like now. I mean, it is September, so, you know, it's possible it's a little lighter just because it's getting close to fall, but... Yeah, so it's very similar to Delphi, you guys. Here, I mean, just for the hell of it, I'll go, go there really quick. Watch. Here, I'll show you the same type of situation was going on over there and there wasn't a search like that but so look what it looks like in Delphi in on July 9th just absolutely packed in with about the most dense trees you could ever imagine right but on the day of the murders in Delphi for those of you who even know what the hell I'm talking about uh, this is April Look at the difference. This this is even a little into the year where there's green greenery somewhere. If you go back to there's a year before in February 2012. Look at that. That's what it looks like in February in 2012. There isn't a you leaf on, your on a tree you anywhere, you anywhere. and you can see forever in there. Like you could totally different. Okay. That's what it looks like in the summer. See, so it's almost identical to that. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. uh, leaves haven't turned yet here yet. Gray, still very dense forest. Can you look at 2000? What, what's there? Well, I'm not going to look there until you tell me what I'm looking there for. It's like, hey, I can look there, but what does that mean? Exactly, Cameron. I totally agree. That's why it's such a difficult search. Absolutely covered trees, thick as hell. Nobody's getting through there. Yeah. I mean, he's so little, he can kind of maneuver through. Imagine a police officer with his belt on, with the, you know, they're bigger guys. They're usually, you know, 5'10 or taller, uh, bigger, you know, 200 pounds ish and more wearing a belt, you know, whatever. I mean, I'm sure you could wear camo and stuff like that, too, to get through. But, I mean, this guy's five foot, probably 110 pounds now because he hasn't eaten much. And he's just, he's like Gilligan, you know? Gilligan, little bunny skipper. So why was I going to 2000? I don't see that anymore, unfortunately. Oh yeah, uh, Chris S. said that's where he stole the work boots from. Okay. Thank you. So when you type something in, I'm, I'm, not, a, I'm not a robot, so say, great, can you go to 2000 Fairview Road, that's where they stole the work boots. And where did you get that information from? Yeah, there you go. Look at that. Right before the uh, where he crouched down. If it, We'll just say um, I'll just see. 2000 Fairview Road I'll just say rumor because I don't know where he got that from. 
Rumor found boots here. Well, there you go. Thanks, Zozo. Goose to see you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, Gilligan's a lot taller than uh, than this guy. Uh, did he ditch the jail shoes here too? Okay, let's see. So what was he doing for a full day then? After he got the boots here, was he just chilling out in this area right there? Because he was seen basically the next day crouched right there. At, at 8 p.m. as well. Black Chevy Box one time. Paul says we Yeah. You know, I bet. I bet you he got the boots. He came over here and he stumbled upon this place. And he stayed. I mean, look at this. You could easily find something in here to sleep in. I, I guarantee it. Uh, this, let, me, let me really go look. And then the next day, when he got, uh, like in the evening, he goes, okay, I'm going to make, he comes out of here and then crouches down to then cross the street and the lady turned around, but he was already gone. And then after that, he goes up here. What do you think of that area? That, that, that looks like a... Yeah, they found his backpack. Well, there's a fence here. I don't know if he is there one on the other side. Probably. But man, you could if you could just scale that fence. He has no problem with that shit. No problem at all. Hey, don't forget to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button out there. All right, you too, trolls. <laughs> no way, Gray. I'm not gonna do it. I'm here to hate. There's a lot of animal feed corn still in fields as it hasn't been harvested. I keep hearing the the wild bears and stuff comments. I mean, don't you find that just a little like unlikely <clears throat> that bears? Law enforcement couldn't find them, but bears did. <laughs> and uh, they killed him, and then he's... Yeah, he was pretty, pretty light now, I'm sure. CP to 1398. White SUV last night, but police didn't find the sighting credible. So then he wasn't spotted. <laughs> you type in Danella was spotted at Wamu or Wawu driving a white SUV last night, but police didn't find the sighting credible. Well, then that means he wasn't spotted. Post to 93K90. Uh, I wasn't talking about you, uh, Cameron. Why do folks troll? Yeah, well, I've got a whole, like, a, a trolling army. They wait for any kind of thing that I might say that doesn't fit into what they perceive as a, a perfect person. And so, you know. They're, they have they have zero lives, so they spend all night every show watching every single thing that they do. It's crazy.
Three is I'm close. in Pennsylvania. I live in country and around here. None of the farmers have harvested yeah, their corn five, yet. Okay. Still green. You three can't is close. even see three feet inside a cornfield. The stocks are close. No, oh, it, it just, uh, I mean, it's true. I, I just, I, like, when you say it, don't let them rent space in your head, it's just, four, three, four, four, three, I, when you're a true crime YouTuber, it four, just, four, it's four, in four, everybody's four. head. They exist no matter who you are, <laughs> you know. I just have mine and other well, people have theirs, have you know. Phone. Uh, I don't have an update on the officer that got hurt. Maybe you can look that up. A, a prison? No, I would think more like a social media. I don't think anybody's helping him, Ada, to be honest with you. I think he's toast. Uh, he is. Uh, the car, the only reason his van was where it was is because... It ran out of gas. So how would a person helping him know where to find him at this point? They know, might know where he is, but they'd have to drive right by the cops. You'd have to drive right by the cops to look for him. So really, there's almost no chance. He is absolutely alone right now. He's on foot, likely. I mean, maybe he stole a bike from somebody, but... We don't know, but what's he going to do? Bike? Oh, here's Probably what he does. He puts a biking outfit on, and he's got the little hat and everything. No. And... Oh, yeah. People just blew right by. He looks like a biker, right? Just a little small. Or a jockey. He jumps on a horse, puts on the jockey outfit, and they go, oh, he's just a horse rider. No. Yeah, he's a horse racer. Don't worry about him. I'm not sure he could actually work on a normal bike. He'd have to use a little kid's bike, don't you think? Yeah, he's he's not he's he's alone out there. He doesn't have any anybody helping whatsoever. Yeah, I think the reward's way too low. I think the reward should be $500,000. You know why? Because yesterday and today and tomorrow will all cost a million or more. Well, you could have got the answer a long time ago, maybe, and not spent all that money. His comment was sort of naive when he said, I don't think if, you, if you're not going to do it for $25,000, well, you know, $25,000 um, is not necessarily enough money to get somebody to roll over on a friend of theirs or something. I mean, five hundred thousand? Yeah, you know that's. Uh, when I saw the horses on the live feed on the news, I was thinking same thing. Oh, really? Oh boy. Nope, they haven't caught him yet. He's still running around. Let me try Broadcastify. Is there anything going on over there? Or? Yeah, there's still 3,000 people listening to the Chester County. So I got both on. 8.42, yep, so one came in a minute ago. Yeah, well, no, he's offered his assistance, John. He's coming, boy. Whenever the bounty hunter, dog the bounty hunter comes, things get done. Neither is he for four, okay? Neither is he for four, okay? He said with a note of sarcasm. There's still clothing on some kind in those old barns. <laughs> uh. Oh, well, thanks, Sandy. Yeah, I guess that's the difference. A 
remember dog remember yeah the whole Brian Laundry thing jeez that was that was embarrassing dog did an interview a couple days ago dog said they need you know what's weird is he just jumped ship off the other case that he was doing he was trying to track down the other individual who the Rachel Morin murder remember he was all over that one oh wait but that's not as hot as this one is now oh, hey. and this is more my thing a fugitive it's like an escapee this is my thing man I always say this as soon as dog you know what you know what time it is when the, uh, dog the bounty hunter comes in you know what time it is it's the same time you start calling psychics it's the same thing in my opinion, of course. Clear. Yeah, everyone types that in, Anthony, every single time. That's crazy, isn't it? <clears throat> I mean, we could try it right now. Well, let me ask the spirits a question. Hold on. Uh, spirits out there. Will this wacko be found tonight? Oh, he's going to be. Okay. Do you hear that? Ever? Listen. At a hut. <laughs> he's going to be found at a hut. Listen to it again. See? At a hut. Right off the bat. He's going to be found in a hut. You heard it, right? Listen. Wait, I hear I hear a new sound in there. Look. Wait, wait, you heard it that time? It said, it said stupid. Did you guys hear that? Listen to it again. At a hut. Stupid, stupid, yeah, stupid. It was clear as a. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's so ridiculous. Oh my god, these people. I tell you. And sadly, people believe that stuff. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, they raised it to 35. Wow, that'll open up some new avenues, eh? Let's see. Yes, he was one of them with that. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Cheryl. Woo! 35? Well, hell, I wasn't going to call, but you moved it up to 35. I'm getting on that phone right now. <laughs> uh, he's a convicted. Look it. We've given away 168,000 on this channel. Zero, three, three, That's a lot more than, way more than that shit, right? No, we'll be inside, Zero, three, okay. Copy inside, <laughs> you don't get out of bed for 35. Wow. I'll, I'll expect some super chats from you in, in a large denomination soon. I mean, my God, if you get out of bed and 35 doesn't pull you out, but 50 does, and then all of a sudden you got 50, 50, 50. Yeah. Auction that bounty. If they find him at a hut, <laughs> structure. Okay, let, let's, uh, let's do what the psychics say again, everybody. Here we go. Here's what they'll say. Here's what they'll say. Bring in the psychics. Oh, I see him near trees. Okay, let, let's take a look at the land here. <laughs> I see him near trees. He's he's like kneeling down, and there's some water. There's also a house in the distance. Oh, God, it's right there. It, his name is like it, it, it's it's a house that the house that he's staying at starts with a it's like a J or a. Uh, a T, was it like an F or something like that with a house? 
Yeah, well, listen, every single house in the area has those letters in it. Okay, thank you. Command post, all units, all perimeter. Anybody authorize a RV or trailer type <laughs> vehicle to go through? That's right. Is it? Is there a, a house? It's a house! Oh my god, do you guys hear that? That was a spirit. I could start a psychic channel. I'd be really good, too, because I'm already really accurate when we're doing... Like, this case is hard because it's, there isn't enough stuff coming in. You know, like, we don't... You know, we know that he was here. Yeah, 47 We know he was here. It looks like he was over here, got the shoes. Right here, got the shoes. Um, yeah, right here, he got the shoes, and then he was crouched down in this area yeah, the next day, one. and then... Then he makes his way up yeah, to Wilson, here Wilson, to get the, the road, gun. Three, four, five, Wilson, road. And so. Condition, the drone flying over the house, flashing yeah. the light in the caller's yard. A drone? That must be him flying the drone. You know, five, five, four, four. Two, six, and two. That's nah, nowhere near enough. Two, two, it's five, radio check. Four, four. You haven't been around long enough. You know, five, five, four, four. We have a lane again. One, twenty, four, Lancaster Road. I will hold up panic dress. Go ahead to CP. Copy that, thank you. Yeah, for the state, ICE cleared that trailer. Okay. Four. I'll give her a call, you clear it out. Yeah, five, five, four, four, okay. Yeah, that's affirmative, we just got that radioed in. They let it go through. Thank you. Yeah, four seven Paul seven. Yeah, four seven Paul seven, three forty five Buck Run Road, three four five Buck Run Road. First suspicious condition. The drone flying over the house, flashing a light in the caller's yard. Hey, we're we're pretty educated on the case, Wiz Gods. Okay, uh, you're uh, un unlike you, you know, you just came in here. We know what's going on here. We've been following it the whole time. I mean, if, if I didn't know what was going on, would this map be created right here? Uh, would this have happened where the perimeter was? Then after that, hey, hey, uh, hey, whiz gods. Hey, whiz gods, check this out. Now, I know you probably didn't see this, you idiot, but watch this. Listen to this right here. Here's the dairy. Here's where the dairy van is, right? Right there. See that van right there? Well, that's not it. You know why I know it's, that's not it? It's no because way. there's a dark refrigerated yeah, unit on the top of it there, right? But when you go down to the ground here, th there's the dark one again, but this one's here with the white refrigerated unit on the top. And that's the one that was stolen, okay? And then after he stole that car, he drove all the way over in the northeastern portion of the same uh, area to this... Uh, there was he was spotted on a camera here at maybe 44 Ridge Road, but somewhere in this area he was spotted on a camera. And this church there was a whole bunch of people going to one night that we, when we were covering it. Then after that he drove the van, and the van came over here, and it ran out of gas. So he got out of the van right here. Okay, whiz gods, you're so educated and smart about everything. It was dropped off right here. And then after that he got out of the van, and sometime later. Um, he was seen right over here, maybe picking up boots here. We don't know if that's 100% accurate. Then he was crouched down right here, and then he goes across and through these fields over here later and got and stole a 22 caliber rifle. And when he stole it, the owner pulled out a pistol and shot him. The rifle apparently had a scope and a flashlight on it. And he... Yeah, we don't know where he is right now, okay? Thank you. What a dumb comment to make up there. Brothers made with all the sightings. and No, I haven't seen that. That'd be cool to see that. If you want to send me an email, that'd be good.
you miss Lash. I'll uh, mark it in Sweden. there. I haven't seen the map of the two brothers, so if you send me an email, I'll uh, open it up and we'll plot it all out. That'd be great. Colors advising the drones been there three to four times tonight, flashing a spotlight on the house and over wooded areas. She wants to know if it's police. And she's not, but I think it's heading northbound on Buckland Road. Okay, so storm. Three nine four nine five. Yeah, three nine four nine. Okay. I don't have an email from you, Nikki. Dogs never stop once. They get that sound. P7, same. 2S3, radio check. Big copy, P7. 0 units, you got it. Paul 5, we're good. Me and 0 3, Paul 5, okay. What's disrespectful, Jets? I'm not sure what you're talking about. Right, well, when somebody's rude, you want to, you want to hear what's more disrespectful? Here, this is what's more disrespectful, Jets. When somebody uh, comes in and says, Three, nine, four, nine, seven. Uh, hold on a second. God dang it. I can't see it. So this is one that's more disrespectful. Good when problem. somebody comes in. Yeah, uh, nine, okay. B6, past three, radio check. Hell, I can't even find it anymore. Good is problem. anyone else doing a live that's more educated on the case? You know, you don't think that's rude? Jets? So if, if you respond, you don't, then I'll, I'm going to block you from the channel right after you come back in. Okay, good. We'll do. We'll do. What an idiot. 3949, sir. That's fine. Yeah, 3949, okay. See what I mean, you guys, with the trolls that come in? And then they act passive-aggressive about it. Like as if they're not the ones that started it. <laughs> you know, like they say something... You respond back, and then you're the bad person. Yeah. Every single night, man. It's never a, never a dull moment, but it never rests. These yeah, people have no status. clue. Yeah, it's a real police radio, Rudy. Yeah. I have two on at, the, at this time. Another one bites the dust. Another one bites the dust. Let's see. Yeah, that's right, everybody. Be respectful to people in here. Right? So when you come in, if your first action is disrespect, 
then you probably won't get something respectful back. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, we need a good lighting lightning storm to scare the crap out of it. I think it'd just be great if it poured and poured and it was got colder and he needed to go somewhere uh, to get out of the cold. Yeah, give him enough days of rain and he will get even more tired. Yeah, we did. We blocked him. Yeah. I guess what we should do is just block him and not say anything. You know what I mean? Just... It's just so weird that he's in a small area and they can't find him. Yeah, 4747, did you send us a game there? 4747, okay. Oh, it's starting to rain now. 4747, okay. You think, you, you, think, you, think he's, you think he's already already out of there? <laughs> That'd be amazing. Dude. Yeah, the way he seems to be. 67, 30, 34, Merlin Road, Cross Street, Hell Springs, and Pipeline Road. Charlestown yeah. Township, respiratory difficulty. See, the thing is, is I think if he's anywhere, he's in this area here. But look how easy it is at some point. I mean, there's a lot of homes right here, but like right there, he could bolt across. And then, you know, wait, late at night goes around. I mean, you could just get out of here, you know. Look at this spot over here. This is like, you know, a country almost. <laughs> I mean, it's huge. So, I don't know. I don't know. They seem to think they have him in this area. But he's laid quiet for a while, and nobody... There hasn't been any, any sort of recent spottings of any kind. Make the 67 for a change response. Last night, about this time, we had pretty good audio coming in, but if you look at it, it yeah, looks it looks different. We usually these yeah, are the ones here that are seem to be related. Let's listen to those again. Well, that's CP to nine three two ninety eight. Command post two nine three two ninety eight. Command post two nine three two ninety eight. And then this this one. Nine three King ninety eight on CPG. Seven five four five. So they must have a different yeah, channel. Seven five four five. Seven five four five. Seven five four nine. What is the other call? Seven five four nine. You want to get? Seven five four nine. You want to get? Seven five four four. We have a lane again. One twenty four Lancaster Road. I will hold a panic dress. Yeah, I mean, this whole thing is just anything in the area, it puts them up. So it doesn't matter, you know, it's not all going to be police. Can I be that? I mean, we can listen to the, uh, for those of you, is there anybody out here that didn't hear the press conference earlier today? Because we could have that playing in the background as well. I mean, it's not like, uh, you know, we have to be listening to anything in particular. You didn't hear it? Okay. I mean, it's only 17 minutes long. FBI ASAC Jamie Milligan and Robert That's interesting stuff right at the beginning. Clark from the U.S. Marshal's Office. There have been a number of significant developments overnight in this investigation and manhunt. At approximately 8 p.m. last evening, a motorist reported seeing a male 
crouched near the wood line along the south side of Fairview Road, west of Route 100. The motorist turned her vehicle around in an effort to verify what she saw. As she drove back past, the individual was gone. We had a large number of troopers already in the area and utilized them to form a perimeter around that area. A Border Patrol tactical team was also in the immediate vicinity and went directly to the location of the sighting. They observed footprints in some mud which were identical to the prison shoes worn by Cavalcante. How cool is that? How cool is that that they actually he was still wearing the prison shoes and he um oh that's crazy all the way over in australia so anyway, he's still wearing the same prison shoes um as of yesterday and he puts footprints in the mud and they are they can tell they're ex the exact same shoes he was wearing so it verifies it's him a track was initiated and shortly thereafter both of his prison shoes were located. Information was received from another resident in, the, in that immediate area that a pair of work boots had been stolen from a porch at her residence. The tracking of cattle. Okay, so that, well, let's, let me hear that part again because that might verify that that's similar. Hold on. In that immediate area, that, in that immediate, in that immediate, it was worn by Cavalcante. Okay. A track was initiated and shortly thereafter, both of his prison shoes were located. Oh. Information was received from another resident in, the, in that immediate area that a pair of work boots had been stolen. Oh, crazy. So he had the work boots in his hand when that lady saw him. <laughs> oh, man, this, this is crazy. This is how they, they actually know what he's doing. Watch this. So he goes to this house and he steals the work boots, but he has them only in his hands at that moment. He's still got his other boot, uh, his prison shoes on. And then right when the lady saw him crouch down here, he goes into the woods wearing those shoes because those tracks are there. Then they followed those tracks, and they led to his prison shoes being found on the ground. Seven now he's five, wearing five, five. the boots he took. So they know exactly when and where he put those boots on, or at least uh, where he switched over. That's pretty Seven crazy. Five, 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 okay? From a porch at her residence. The tracking of that Cavalcante continued in a northerly direction, and at 10.10 10 p.m., a call was received from a resident on Coventryville Road indicating a short Hispanic male, no shirt, and wearing dark pants, had entered his garage while the homeowner was in it, and that he grabbed a twenty two rifle oh, that right was here. leaning in the corner of the garage. The homeowner drew a pistol and fired at Cavalcante as he fled with the rifle. PSP responded and secured that scene. At that time, a green sweatshirt and white t-shirt believed to belong to Cavalcante were discovered near the edge of the driveway. Right here. The perimeter was expanded to include that area. Overnight, searches of the area within the perimeter were conducted by tactical teams from multiple agencies. Teams from Pennsylvania State Police, Border Patrol, ATF, FBI, U.S. Marshals, and Chester County have been active through the night. Teams are currently being rotated out and replaced with fresh teams. Aviation assets, canines, mounted patrols, and numerous other assets. I'm hoping he used poison ivy to wipe his ass, Karen, if that's what you're asking. ...been mobilized and are currently operating in this search area. Upwards of 500 law enforcement officers are engaged hey, in Nick securing Rager. the perimeter and in conducting the searches. We are mobilizing oh boy, additional resources as we speak exactly. and are planning for an extended operating period if necessary. Anyway. Cavalcante is considered armed hey, and extremely by, uh, dangerous. He is now armed with a 22 caliber rifle with a scope and flashlight mounted on it. Throughout the night, we spent or we sent several reverse 911 messages to residents within a three mile radius of this incident, as well as posted information to social media in an effort to inform the public and to keep them safe. We also notified the, the affected schools of this incident in the very early morning hours, and a decision was made to close schools in the Owen J. Roberts School District for today. The yes, current perimeter includes PA 23 to the north, PA 100 to the east, Fairview and Nant Mill Roads to the south, and Iron Bridge and County Park Roads to the west. We ask residents in and around this vicinity to please secure homes, outbuildings, and vehicles. It is imperative 
Is it from Bar 494, okay? Bliss, you didn't call CP. Can I get a cheeseburger with uh, some fries, please? Thank you. We're leaving 17 at 5 during 100. Is that anyone with information about Cavalcante, contact us immediately so we can act on it in a timely manner. They can call 911 or our tip line at 717-562-2987. 717-562-2987. Disregard, I got a female on the window there. I'm going to make a contact. Yes, you want to call you copy making contact? 987. We will take questions at this time. What was the response time, sir, from the moment um, the homeowner called uh, the state police after the uh, shots of the fire? What was the response time? Minutes. We have no reason to believe that he is injured as a result of that. means they found no blood after anywhere near the I think he was trying to survive and avoid Coming in from the exit family room window. The car is running the lights on. I'm not expecting I don't have this open twice. Yeah, no more, no more helicopter action. How about this guy? Is he doing anything? Unit ah. 21, Paul Lee, your house. That's an airplane. Yeah, he just was flying around. Not mainly like in the Unit 21, Paul Lee, okay. Area. Unit 15, Paul 91, MDC, check for repossession. 15, Paul 91, okay. Actually, it's above that. <clears throat> being captured right now, sir. Yes. I found one clear now. Okay. We have no reason to believe that he is injured as a result of that shooting. No, I think he is just trying to survive and avoid being captured right now, sir. Yes. So he. he ah. Jeez. The Wait. white looks like a Jetta. Oh, the lights running. Long driveway. Correction. The car is running. The lights are on. On other side. Five. Unit three. Cover Montgomery for twenty-five. Six nineteen Washington. Street. Oh, that's right. I have. Twenty-six uh, and Seventh Avenues. Roseburg, Montgomery, Montgomery County. Abdominal pain. I have broadcast the flight. Oh, four. Still walking up to the house. Long driveway. That's right. Yeah, five five four four. Copy. Still walking up to the residence. I'm gonna stop that one. Okay, um, so he's, he verified that there was ammunition, so that's good. I mean, not good, but at least we good to get the information. We have considered him dangerous right from the very start. It changes nothing. Uh, we, uh, we have always considered him to be a risk. Uh, we just now uh, absolutely know that he has a weapon. Everything's clear over yes. here by Patty's house. I think, yes, he's been in that area before. We're not evacuating homes at this point. We're asking residents to be vigilant and again, Wait, lock the doors. Right Call us if. He knows where he's been I think, before. yes, he has been in that area before. Oh, so he knows. We're area. not evacuating homes Shit. at this point. We're asking residents to be vigilant and again, lock their doors. Call us if there is uh, any issue possible. or any concern on their part. Uh, it was several shots. I don't have that number. Uh, you know, don't be shy, five freaks. Five if you'd four, like to help support the channel, feel one. free to do so. It, you know. <laughs> Anyways, thanks everybody for uh, supporting the channel today. I appreciate it. Uh, not as a result of anything. Okay, so okay. We've had a uh, few minor in in incidents or issues uh, with officers out on uh, on the perimeter and things, but nothing related to the uh, I'm not going to comment on whatever assistance he may or may not have received. Uh, what I will tell you is that uh, at this point, uh, That's why I I'm believe he is beyond assistance and, uh, and he is in that perimeter and we will actively hunt until You're we find him. Yes. Now that he has a firearm, you have a chance to get him I'm going to be out at 3550, five, pop sound fight, give my other unit a break. 
Sir, we have been pushing any time we had him contained from the very start. We have seen this as a high priority throughout. It is, uh, in this particular case, uh, the search area is probably uh, close to three miles across east to west and two to two and a half miles north to south. It's a large area, wooded, hilly terrain. Uh, it's not something that it's a matter of just sending a few people in and searching. As I said, we've had uh, uh, a number of tactical teams operating in there through the night. We continue to have uh, teams operating in there now. It will take a long time to clear. This should be a really interesting. Look at, look, look at this shot right here. This is a 360 degree shot inside. This is what it looks like, kind of where he's at, right? But I mean, here's a there's a trail in there. But look at this, and this is um, in the fall, or what? What time is it? This is November, so it's coming up. But look at this shitty place to try to find somebody, and imagine this being completely lush and you couldn't get through there all right this is november so this is in the fall march and november look about the same yeah. but see that look at how nutty that this is in the area let me show you where that is this is um let's see yeah i mean this is right where you know basically took the boots not the boots um he they he stole the boots here, and then he was seen crouched there. But right in this area, there is a 360-degree camera. So that's generally what it looks like. You know, so they're they're down this embankment in that shot there. And again, just picture that being where you can't see anything because it's so thick. Now let's see if there's another one in here. Seems like a miracle just to even have that. Oh, there's one right there. There's two over here. Yeah, and so this is probably the, yeah, this is April. See, this is the reverse side. So about a month before this, it looked just like November probably. Um, yeah, so there's that one. And then I think there's even another one on somebody's property over here. Uh, that doesn't look like it, but look, here's a stream. I'm not sure why that came up with that. They must put the wrong uh, GPS coordinates in there. Oh, that's sweet. That's a drone shot. That, uh, that entire area uh and yeah. and we will but we will continue how they wiped uh, out the drone we do locate that's it. amazing uh you know some similar challenges the the difference here it's a little larger area and so anytime you're in an area like this there uh, you can imagine if you went out and took a several square mile area and had to try and find a single person who is trying to hide uh, it's a challenge uh, as I've said before, no perimeter is ever 100 uh, percent impenetrable. Uh, we are absolutely have absolutely uh, stood up a very strong perimeter. We will do our very best to contain him in there and to capture him. There are some creeks in there, yes. Yeah, it's French the Creek. officers have been wearing their gear throughout this entire search. Again, we have always considered him dangerous. Uh, we just know, we, we now have confirmation that he has a firearm. The tactics are the same. It was with the firearm. It was with the firearm. Okay. It was with the firearm. There you go. That's what we're looking at right here, you guys. Look at this crap here. A little tiny uh, Oompa Loompa running around in the woods over there. Look at this. Really hilly. Uh, we are focusing on that entire area again. Uh, we have people, supervisors on the ground out there assessing uh, any uh, issues or risks of escape and we are trying to address any, any possibility out there. That's actually in the perimeter, too. Yeah, 
uh, they have been searching for him. It was only minutes, but in that amount of time, uh, he traveled a significant distance. We've been utilizing dogs, uh, and we've been utilizing tactical teams. Well, this so, might be a really uh, good you know, again, just because yeah. we find a footprint Ooh. doesn't mean we necessarily know That's which direction he traveled. And That's in fact, cool uh, he had traveled south and then went back north. So um, it's not a matter of just charging into the woods and knowing that you know it's that away. Uh, it's a matter of trying to track him. It's a matter of sweeping methodically through the uh, through the woods, checking buildings and so forth. I, I'll tell you this: the luxury of just charging. I sure as hell hope we're not looking at images that look anything like what I just saw. In this case, <laughs> if there's even a hint of snow on the ground, oh man, it's just way too long. He would make a good Santa Claus, though. He could get through those uh, chimneys pretty easily. Urging up the nearest trail and hoping that's the direction he went. I don't believe so, sir. I think uh, at that point he was being pushed by the teams that were pursuing him from the original sighting. I think it was, a, a, in my opinion, I believe it was a crime of opportunity. I think he went in there tr probably trying to hide. The garage door was open. He didn't, uh, I, I believe, uh, recognize that the owner was in there. And I think he was probably looking for a place to hide, ran for that garage, saw the firearm, grabbed that, encountered the homeowner, and fled with the firearm. I don't know what is that, uh, eight to ten square miles, probably. You've had two instances now uh, of Kamikaze picking up supplies that really changed the sort of whether it was a van, a diesel, or a firearm that was somewhat unsecured. Do you have any place to change the messaging in this new containment area to really you know, emphasize the importance of life? I don't know how much more I could emphasize it, sir. I've been very clear about securing things. We have sent, as I said, several reverse 911 messages through the night, again, emphasizing that point and telling residents uh, uh, you know, what they can do, just advising them the situation. I can't be any clearer that they need to secure things. See, I think we only cross the road when it's covered. Uh, we have uh -huh. county emergency management people on site and have had them on site here in, uh, in the command post uh, so that uh, we do have access to uh, uh, the available information. I, I don't, uh, I was told that it is not. Tested positive for the beer virus. <laughs> oh my God, Becky, I've never been so sick in my life having your vids to catch up on. Uh, who's Becky? Are you, <laughs> Are you goofing around? Up on who's keeping me occupied. Uh, I guess you really do have the beer virus. Yeah. Because my name is Becky now. Well, it's, uh, unless there's a Becky in the chat. I don't know. Thank you. Tested positive the beer virus. Oh my god, Becky, I have never been so sick in my life. <laughs> Threatening, uh, situation Definitely looks pretty I shallow. Oh, I would think we're we're well past the 400. We are probably around 500 right now. It's very fluid. We have people uh, still coming in. We've been releasing people that were held overnight. We have people that have been on duty for 20 hours, 24 hours or more and we're, we're relieving them. We held people over because of the seriousness of the situation last night. So we're working through replacing all of those. We have people coming in. Uh, I can speak for the state police from all over Pennsylvania to support this effort uh, and to be able to sustain it. And, and our partner agencies are doing the same, uh, not only from Pennsylvania, but from out of state as well with various specialty teams. No, this is the area where he left the uh, the van. Uh, it's very close in proximity to where the van was abandoned and where I talked about that I believed he was in the woods and uh, was likely hiding. Well, 
Uh, I, I, I really can't provide any more detail right now. What I can tell you is, again, he encountered him. He did call us very quickly. Uh, he did what uh, we asked him to do with, with regard okay, to that. What road was that uh, Coventryville Road. How many times did he fire at him? Uh, I, I don't have that number of shots. Several shots, I was told. Reports that Cavalcante stole a pair of boots. Are those accurate? Yes. I'm sorry, which homes are you referring to now? Those homes, uh, well, the ring door camera is nowhere, it's, it's not in this uh, search area, and the home uh, with the garage that, uh, that we talked about is within the search area, and we are actively working that area. Uh, you're, you're, what you said second there, Cairo. I don't know. Looking like chickens with their heads cut off. There's more information, though, I mean... I don't have reports. If you're there watching, I can show you. Like, you know, a couple days ago when he dumped the van there, then right in this area, he stole some boots. And he was carrying the boots. Because over in this area, a lady saw him crouch down. They, they tracked his prison boots into the woods until they came upon his prison boots on the ground, at which time he had switched over to the hiking boots right and then the next thing we know after that is that uh, he goes over to this house right here and he steals a, a rifle out of the garage which is let's see you can see it right up there that garage right there he stole a rifle out of it and the homeowner was there came out with a pistol shot at him seven or eight times and apparently missed him and then down here they found that red, I mean the green uh, hoodie that he was wearing in that other surveillance footage and uh, a, a white shirt that was underneath it. So he likely had a, a shirt to change into, but his top probably stuck out like a sore thumb. Although, you know, with the terrain, the green that he had on might not be too shitty to some of those colors that are there. You know, but uh, something black would probably be better, you know, so, or brown. So there you go, that's, that's where we're at with that. So any other houses that he's been in, doesn't mean he hasn't been. So they think they have him in this area, they just don't know where he is. Sir, I don't know why you would think something has gone wrong. Our law enforcement people have done enough. I don't have reports of any other houses that he's been in. Doesn't mean he hasn't been, but we don't have reports of those. Sir, what has gone wrong here? I mean, have you underestimated him? Is he just that much of a worthy adversary? Sir, I don't know why you would think something has gone wrong. Our law enforcement people have done an amazing job tracking him. And See, I mean, here's the thing, everybody. I think this guy obviously knows what he's doing. And also, law enforcement is working really hard, and they're doing all the right things. They just haven't caught him yet. And the reason is, is because of the terrain out here. I'd like to sit here and just be like, yeah, these guys suck, man. They're terrible. You know, with the needle in the haystack comment where he made, wow, we found the needle multiple times. Well, then why didn't you grab it when you saw the needle? Well, that damn needle slipped out of our hands. Okay, well, anyways, I think that they're doing, they're working really hard. This is a really mountainous, extremely wooded area that you can't even really go into with like the dogs and people so it's like you got to wait for him to come out and you or spot him then you can make your way in there if you have him isolated or something i mean it's just brutal uh, you, you can tell and all the different creeks that he could travel on and cindy's favorite word culvert maybe crawl went under a, a culvert under the road something like that i don't know i just I mean, don't you think that they have the FBI and all the state police in there and they're not all just idiots, you know? Like, they kind of know what they're doing a little bit. Shh, it says, sheesh. Remember to support the creators keeping you updated more than your local legacy news station. You hear it all here, not there. <laughs> yeah. Well, there you go. Thanks, Kyra. Ding, 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 ding. Ding, 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 ding.
Oh yeah, I gotta you gotta send me uh, send me a text message when you're gonna. Well, never. I'll have to. I'll text you. I don't really want to. Where is that? There it is. Locating him, that proverbial needle in the haystack, and they've located that needle repeatedly. You know, the questions yesterday about is he out of state, is he somewhere around the country, and we told you we were actively searching in this area. Our people have done an amazing job. I'm very proud of the work that they have done and continue to do. There is nothing has gone wrong. Our agencies are all working very well together, and uh, and and I believe we will be successful in the long run. We have always considered him to be very dangerous, and I have stressed that in every one of my press conferences and in every briefing that I have given to our people that are out there searching. We considered him desperate. We considered him dangerous. All this does is confirm for us that he has a weapon. Is he desperate enough to use that weapon on the target law enforcement? He's killed two people previously. I would suspect that he's desperate enough to use that weapon. I'm sorry, is there? Sir, we are actively working that area. Um, I don't. I don't know what other efforts we could make to prevent a, a carjacking. We've asked people to secure everything. Um, anything that occurs in there, we will be uh, on top of. And uh, you know, we're making every effort to find him as rapidly as we possibly can. People can leave their homes. That's entirely up to them. We have not tried to direct anybody to shelter in place. We have simply asked them to secure their homes. It's up to them if they want to leave. If they need assistance, they can let us know, and uh, we will work with them to make sure they can get out of the area. Does the House on Coventry bill have a video of the interaction from last night? Uh, no. I'm sorry, what was that? I have been in regular communication with the governor's office and the governor himself. The governor has been closely monitoring this entire situation, has offered any resources that are necessary, has offered to contact uh, other states. A if court if bag of boiled So plants. he's been uh, closely monitoring this. He's on top of it, and, uh, and, and uh, we continue to keep him advised. So here's the thing. Is, was, is Cavalcante just really lucky or is he literally spending a lot of time looking for things how did he find a van that had the keys in it i didn't even think people did that anymore you know the old movies when somebody's trying to get away and they flip up the um sunscreen thing and all of a sudden hey these keys fall out of it man now who the hell does that anymore right well apparently they do right there in pennsylvania then he goes over to a, a house that apparently the garage isn't locked or he broke in somehow and there's just this 22 rifle filled with bullets with a scope nonetheless and a light on the damn thing in the garage right i mean he's either the most <laughs> what a fortunate person he is i mean just unbelievable uh, he did not, uh, to my knowledge, make any other... And by the way, who the hell wants to be looking in the woods for somebody like him? Right? Why? why who the hell would want to go in the woods looking in the dark for him when he's got a scope rifle and could just take you out? I keep picturing him... You know what I keep picturing him doing? On a high-speed chase while he's sitting in a cruiser driving it away from everybody else. Like the last-ditch effort. He's in a, in a, um, this is my psychic moment, right? Like he's going to be in a, a police cruiser driving away, leading a high chase speed or a high speed chase and boom, right? And it's going to be crazy. And he'll, 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 what will and unfortunately that would mean something bad happens because he'll find an isolated 
positioned officer or something to get that vehicle. Now, if, now that he has a gun, who's safe there? You know, you, you, you let's say you have a cop's place every, uh, like on a turn like this. This is where a problem happens. Um, maybe not in that area, but let's say right around here, okay? So you've got a police car there, let's say, and then one on the corner and one over here. So, you know, if you could do something quietly to this one, or in a, in an, I don't know, one of them where you take one of them out and you get into the vehicle, that's where an issue happens because they these people don't can't see each other through these thick trees. But they could they can each see this one. So, I don't know if that would be the right one or not, but you'd have to find a spot where I don't know, man. This guy's He's got a weapon now. I, I really don't understand how this is. It, it's totally different case now. It's it's creepy. What do you guys think? I think he'll get holed up somewhere and save a bullet for himself. Yeah, I don't think so, man. I, this guy's. He seems like he wants to live. Jesus. Anyways, uh, Cairo, I sent you a text message. Mm. Yeah, I mean, the, the Casey White one was hilarious. Remember when the the girl, the the prison guard lady that broke him out, his girlfriend, with I think her name was last name was White too or something. She, remember the car choice that she got it was like this bright green vehicle and i remember saying something like what an idiot he must have looked at her when she got that car because immediately they started painting it a different color they tried to with a spray paint and it didn't work yeah right they had spray paint and it didn't work and then they um you know you know immediately he's like what are you doing with this thing so they quickly had to find another uh, vehicle. <laughs> That's just so stupid. The color of that vehicle was, you could see it from Saturn. Like if you had a camera on Saturn and looking down at Earth, you could see Vicky White's vehicle. Yeah, whatever color it was. Yeah, yeah, that's right. It was orange and they paint it, tried to paint it green. Is that right? Yeah, it's like, what is it? Trying to match the jumpsuit? Yeah, I think it was orange. Car wash and get caught by camera. Climbs the trees to get a vantage point and can see where all the lights are and can then take a clear path to the next tree. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's not a terrible idea, except when the helicopter, he's not doing that when the helicopter is around, right? Because if he climbs that tree, a helicopter would be able to spot him a lot easier. Even though he's got the canopy, you might be able to see him. But maybe, that, maybe that's what he's doing. Climbing up trees looking around I mean that's something that we've talked about on before people think he's climbed trees aggressive moves they confronted each other um, the the shots uh, were fired and he fled uh, and I'm not I, I'm not going to release anything else about the uh, the homeowner at this point you know how close they actually got to each other the homeowner and Capriconte? uh it was a number of feet. you mean a Thelma and Louise without Thelma He's by himself. No, I think, again, uh, I, I stress, please secure things, and not just within the perimeter, in the, in the vicinity around it, and please call us immediately. 
if they see something suspicious, if they believe that Cavalcante might be in the area, we need that information. Okay, and I think that's about it. So let me get back to the, don't want to miss anything if it comes over. Yeah, 937, I'll go to here. I'm sorry. Frank, one through nine, scroll 10, or police secure. Do you guys know that Giant's got uh, security? Yeah, yeah like Saturday did. I mean, if we could, yeah, you know. Yeah, because of, obviously, the escapee, they have, like, armed security now. Do you guys know that Giant's got uh, security? The Giants got yeah, security? Like, totally. Because yeah, of, obviously, the escapee, uh, they have, like, armed security now. They're armed. So they just have conversations on this, uh, on the... Jesus. What are you doing for dinner later? That's what 51. Uh, what, are you, what are you doing for dinner later? Uh, Taco Bell? Sound good to you? Yeah, I like those um, chimichangas they've got there. They're fantastic. Yeah, yeah, that'd be that'd be great. Thank you very much. Yeah, these guys seem to be... They talk about just about anything on here. It's wild. Hey, look at that. It's Scott Holland. I saw a Google Map vehicle today with all the cameras and thought Gray the Goat being the map king of YouTube... You would take that vehicle to places... Oh, I would, man. <laughs> I would take Google Earth. Uh, I would, you know, drive it into every nook and cranny if I was one of those people. I love it when they go to places like, what are they doing here? This is ridiculous. Hey, what was the name of that case of the girl that... Remember down that one road? Anybody remember it? And she was on a 911 call and she was lost and everything. Anybody? Well, we're going to have pizza. All right, cool. Come on, what's the name of that case, you guys? There was a 911 call and she was lost and they found her shoe at some point or something. Her car, there some other guy went fishing. They went fishing together and he went to go get help because they got a flat tire but then she went missing. Anybody remember that one? Come on. And that's what that crazy Google Earth. He went down this creepy as hell side road that nobody had any business going down. Well, thanks, Emerald 5. Nobody knows, huh? Mm. Yeah, it was Texas, right. That was in Texas. Yeah, definitely Texas. Uh, hold on, I can probably find it just based on that. Uh, missing person, Texas. Uh, 911 call, friend went fishing. It's got to be on there somewhere. Now there's Brandon La Lauren Thompson. There you go. There it is. Lauren Thompson. I just found it. That was sweet. Thank you there, Danielle. You got me the right clue that I needed. There it is. A Lauren Elizabeth Thompson. <laughs> Look at this crazy. You guys want to see the craziest Google Earth drive you've ever seen in your life here? All right, here we go. Here we go. So Google Earth, you know, you yeah, see this whole thing, and for some reason, he went down this like crazy side road right there. It's made out of dirt. I think this guy. I'll be clear from Allegheny. I think he was stoned when he did this one. Look at this. Look at this thing. Man, we need more of these. Look at this. <laughs> I mean, what in the hell? This guy was probably. Pulled out a bong and was smoking the living crap out of it because there's no way in hell. This is like right out of a horror movie. What what are you doing in here? 
Okay, so he actually goes down this road a little bit, and where it stops is literally where Lauren Thompson's vehicle was found at one point. I mean, look at this thing. <laughs> you know, I think once he got going, he had to keep going. But this is like ludicrous here. So he, you know, he keeps going. I think is it right there? No, yeah, it just keeps keeps on keeps on trucking. I think it's right at this intersection. I mean, he probably realized at this point, or she, or whoever the hell was driving, was coming down here and just went, yeah, yeah, I think I'm done. So they turned around up here. This is where Lauren Thompson's vehicle was found. And then went down this road again. Yeah, is that like two different right. times? One, two, that's a different Four, date. Ten. Look how stupid. <laughs> Somebody else did it. There's two stoned oh. people here. Look at that, because that's a different time, right? That looks like a totally different, unless the sun hit it differently or something. I don't know, but man, you you wouldn't catch me walking down that sucker alone. That is crazy. Yeah, but we need more of that, you know. We need we need like Google Earth to drive on this whole thing here, like the. Anyways. That's a weird case. There's a 911 call where she's talking and um, confused, and it's just it's weird. Very strange story. All right, well, we're back in this area again. Well, they have done it up, they've been up to it now. Her? It's a house! Evil can never be dead enough. Love no seven and take control. Sound five and eight are at your gate. Apparently, they don't know how to use the radio. And some of you, you make shit up. Did you hear that? <laughs> That's what a sheriff said that. That's why I know that some people don't like that guy, but hey, at least that was a good quote. I think we need this for now, right now. Hold on a second. Oh, I feel better now, everybody. Don't you just immediately feel better? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow, wow. How's it going, everybody? <laughs> Okinawa. Okinawa, everybody. It's Okinawa. Oh, yeah, sing it to me now. Sing it to me. I swear to God, it says something else there, you guys. I know, I know you want it to say Okinawa, but you know it says uh, there's a cuss word there. All right, let's be honest. Ding, 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 ding. That was somewhere in California. Nope, it was Texas. Yeah. Lauren Elizabeth Thompson. And don't you, I also want one of the cases I really want solved is the uh, Barraza, you know, the case with the her and her husband were like Star Wars fans, and she's doing a garage sale, and this person walks up dressed up as a female, but it's a male, and goes in and just executes her right there, right in front, right there at the table early in the morning, really clear video, everything, and they take off, and there's a vehicle and everything, but there's no answers. I mean, how come? That one seems like you'd have an answer. I mean, they've got the damn car right there on camera. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there was a ring doorbell side and the another ring door. So two ring doorbells. His, their own ring doorbell had the great audio of it. And then another ring doorbell across the street. 
by the way, since a lot of you probably never even, you know, you're just sort of into this case. Let me, let me, uh, her name is Elizabeth too, isn't it? I don't remember. Like, isn't it Elizabeth Barraza or something? Maybe I'm forgetting. Today, I am going to be ending. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let me see. Is it uh... By the way, what was the name of that one a minute ago now? Now that I've said that name, I don't remember. Uh, it was Elizabeth uh no no something Elizabeth Man, I went and found Thompson. There you go. All right, Barraza, there we go. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah, here, check this out. I'll, I'll show you guys. If you guys want to see something crazy. 27, Paul, 44. I think it's on here. Hold on. Wasn't, oh, it's short. 27, Paul, 44. 44, I'll be out with an open door for us this market. Yeah, watch this. Comments. Talking. 27, Paul, 44. Copy open door for us this market. I think I made a better video on this. See that car right there? That car, that car that just drove by. Right now, there's a... Uh, there's a lady... Uh, you know, Braza herself is sell, uh, setting up a garage sale. And this car comes by. And so I think I'll just move it forward over here. Where are you guys at? And I'm almost done with the show, so you missed out again. I was probably talking to Zozo there. <laughs> yeah, it took about 10 of those seconds walking over there. See, look at this is her. You can barely see her in the background, but she's standing at it. Let me make it bigger. That lady no, right said there. Five is, seconds. He was standing there talking. See that? She's standing there. Let me get it moving. And she's getting ready for a garage sale. Now watch this car pulls up right here, and then watch this one. There was another sound right there too. This this person so you can definitely wearing hear the a dress, man, a male voice coming up here. Barely. Watch. Listen. Watch what happens here. Yeah, I hear a male. <laughs> this total execution runs away, and you can see it right. Over, there's stuff over here. Watch, watch this. But you can definitely hear the man, a male. Watch how a, a bullet or something barely. hits up in this Look. area. Watch. You actually hear, hear her head hit the pavement. That's absolutely crazy. It's a crap, you know? It's obviously over there. So if they had like a 4K camera. You might be able to zoom in on that. Yeah. Relevant information. See, look how nutty this is. Watch the. So there's a car that pulls up. I think it's possible with some people. I mean, you can hear his male voice there. That's good. Zozo. I mean, it's not. It's pretty big industry. I was talking about like a percentage of the population. Here, look at what I was So you can see some movement over here. Like a bag. 44, I'm okay waiting on my other unit. See, that's her right there. See, that's Elizabeth. See, right there you can hear him. And that's sad. You can actually hear her head hit that cement really hard. Isn't that crazy, you guys? Unbelievable. Well, that's one of the cases we've covered on here. Uh, still not solved, even though they got video of the vehicle driving around and everything. Crazy. No, it's too bad you didn't hear him say something. I could hear him easily. 
Let's see. Yeah. Was it a trans? It's another Star Wars fan. Yeah, I think it was a guy. Um, he must have had something against her specifically. A guy dressed up as a female went over there and said something to her first, then just pulled out a gun and, you know, and actually had the gun out already and then shot her multiple times. Yeah, it's been unsolved this whole time. I think the FBI, I think they're sort of on to some leads. Uh, yeah, on five hands for that. Uh, I think he, he got met somebody else or something. It's been quite a few years now. Yeah, no, don't. Uh, there, it's, it's, when people do that kind of stuff like that, Danielle, it's totally bogus. So don't try to point people in that direction. Yeah, no, there, people. He doesn't say that. If you slow it down, you're not hearing what was said. Yeah. Right, right. You think it sounds like that because he told you. <laughs> See, uh, Danielle fell victim to the the um, spirit box effect. Somebody slows something down. They tell you what they see. And therefore, that's what you hear now, and everybody hears it. Yeah, yeah, yeah Missy Beavers is sort of similar to that one. Kind of reminds me of that. Another case. Why isn't that one solved? Weird. But see, like I had everything covered. Uh, gloves, everything. You would think there would have been touch DNA from the gloves on some of the items, like the doors and whatnot. Because to put the gloves on, you'd have to have a bare I'm hand, unless you put like a um, surgical glove on first, and then that's... Un I don't even know, man. That's just... Yeah, it could be something like that. That's what we... We're, we, we've talked about before. We don't know for sure if the husband is involved or not. It just seems so perfectly timed. But that, uh, but a stalker would also know when the husband would go to work, and they just wanted they were. But it seems so planned out for a stalker. Why wouldn't a stalker just walk right up wearing what they wear? But the person wanted to look like a female, and you know it's a guy because of the way he executed the the last shot just went up that whole stance and the voice you hear is exactly uh, a male mm -hmm. good night American lady looks like we're gonna have another night with no solve here I wonder if this guy will get caught um, I don't know. <laughs> I think he's going to get caught, though. Right. 129, Pearl 10. Sector 2, secure. Uh, I'd like to have that uh, map that. Nikki Zubs mentioned, but she never sent it to me. So at this point, it doesn't exist. Yeah, we were kind of already did something like that down here. Uh, you know, people put their names where they thought he might be caught. Well, <laughs> he got the hell out of that perimeter and uh, made it up here. The only thing I had accurate was that I think he's hanging out right at the edge of the perimeter where it's the widest spaces and he got through and got into the dairy van there. And then he made his way over here to, you know, near Zion Lutheran Church. And then he drove over there and he ran out of gas in this area where he dumped the van, found some boots, wore those, uh, wore his own boots until he was sighted again then he took off and then changed his boots after that and then uh, 
you know, eventually stole a rifle with a light and a scope and some bullets. Hey, uh, femme fatale, don't, don't ask the question, okay? I, we've already explained it. That it said that it was, she listened to it in slow motion on some other channels, the way they do the little crazy digital thing. It's not going to be accurate. We don't know what the person said, okay? Yeah, so it's just, um, well, the part that you need to care about is that there's a guy wearing a dress he goes up and he executes Elizabeth, you know, uh, Elizabeth at the garage sale. She's having you and he's it. got a vehicle and he drove away somehow. We don't know what was said or anything. You can just tell it's a, a male voice. People will claim anything. It's the same thing that they do in the EV, uh, um, in the um, spirit box readings. You hear a little sound and you tell people the sound that you hear and everybody goes, yeah, 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 I hear it. Yeah, so don't just don't worry ready. about if, you, if she thinks it sounds like it or not. Color believes the vehicle he light blue Ford Explorer, possibly in the parking lot outside of B as in Bravo building. Yeah. I bet if anybody heard it themselves, they wouldn't. You'd come up with your own wording, and then you could tell other people, "Oh, that's what I hear," and they go, "Oh yeah, I hear it too." It won't be, it's never what, uh, very rarely, unless it's obvious, something that's just an obvious sound played at regular speed. Mm -hmm. Report of an erratic no, he had, a, he had a, like a skirt a on. A dress was what he was wearing. It was a white minivan. All the stage, it was speeding through the complex. She can't tell me if it left on Bernard Street or left on Union Street. She just keeps saying it made a right. A minivan speeding it through the... It was occupied twice. She refused to provide her information of it. Well, where? Temple. Yeah, thanks everybody who's new, newly subscribing. Make sure to subscribe if you're not. And also hit the like button for me. That'd be fantastic. And thanks to all the freaks for supporting the channel on two different shows today. May I post to one thousand? That's probably why it's not solved, Kitty Cat. Because it's only a twenty thousand dollar reward. Ninety-three King ninety-eight. One thousand five thirty-two. Well, thanks, Lanky Tour. Two seven units, okay. Two seven units, okay. Yeah, sometimes there's crazy things that happen. We know that. I always have the one example that I use. Two seven five four ninety four. Can you repeat your location, please? Yeah. Checking Commonwealth. Two seven five four ninety four. Okay. Okay. Five three king ninety eight. Copy. Yeah, the one example I always use where you, you sort of question yourself is, well, there, there's two of them. One was the Gabby Petito case where uh, Brian Laundrie and Gabby Petito were in Moab talking at this coffee shop, and both of those girls, or one of, yeah, both of those girls were murdered, or not both of them, the, the girl that worked there and her girlfriend were murdered uh, the same days that Brian Laundrie was there, and then he goes on and kills somebody. Uh, Gabby Petito said, so then you think to yourself, man, he must have killed them. I mean, wh what are the odds of that? And he had nothing to do with it at all. He's just another random killer. Yeah, so then uh, there's that one, and then you got the one where the lady was, you know, 18-year-old Hispanic lady who was pregnant, and she... You see her walk away from school one day, and I thought, man, maybe she left her husband, and that kid isn't really hers or his, and, you know, he's doing something. But it turns out she went over to a garage, and then there, another baby was found in the city on top of a garbage can, 
and it wasn't hers. I mean, like, what the hell's going on here? So then um, she goes to a baby shower. Not a baby shower, a house to buy a crib. She goes into the house to buy a crib, and she went there based off of a Facebook ad, and the person there strangled her to death and cut the baby out with a knife and then try, wanted to keep it as her own baby and then took the baby to the hospital and said, oh, look, look, I just gonna... And the doctors are like, wait, wait you, didn't, uh, you didn't give birth to this. Whose baby is this? And it led to you know, the arrest, and then they found her body, and it's just... I mean, could you anybody even predict that one at all? I did, Gray. I really did. No, you didn't. Okay. Um, wonder if she was the wrong person that happened to answer the right question. Who? I wonder if she was the wrong person that happened to answer the right... I don't know what that means. <laughs> uh... Uh, what's yeah? This case is. I thought it was. This case is twenty five thousand. Yeah. yeah, it's crazy, Cheryl. That that one. That's one I always kind of go, man. That one's just bizarre. Who would have thought of that? Yeah, those vi vigilantes are nuts. <laughs> A legend. <laughs> Come on, Lanky Tour. Who lived there before the woman? I don't know. I think they knew exactly who this was, and they went to kill her specifically. Yep, Jody Arias. Yeah. Nailed that one. Maybe we should do like a strange case night again and go back over like, you know, in the basic way of Barraza, Beavers. Um, what, what's another one that's sort of like that? And there's a few, there's a couple more. Those are kind of, they kind of stick out though. I mean, Delphi was part of that, you know, like, wow, a video and the guy, and, you know, you sort of wonder, like, how come it's not solved? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Coker. Yeah, because there's, there's even video in that one. See, that, that's that's another one, yeah. Man, Cheryl Coker is nuts. I bet you 90% of the people in, in here right now have never heard of Cheryl Coker. Here, let's do a poll. Make it, uh, here we go. Have you heard, have you, or oh, actually, do you know about the Cheryl Coker case? All right. So let's see what we got for, these are anonymous, so you can just, Say what you're. Why would you hate me, Lanky Tor? Jeez. Right, isn't that amazing? <laughs> Look at that right there. Isn't that amazing, Zozo? Look at the number up there. Like we've covered Cheryl Coker, mm, I don't know, five, six times. Easy. Very, very crazy case. Every, everybody, I think, knows who did it and everything. In my opinion, Bill, the husband, he did it. He was at home. And then you see this guy wearing all black walk home with covering his face all the way back to his house. And yet that's not enough. I bet you a... They must have taken this to a grand jury at some point. I mean, and man, did it not pass? I mean... Give me a break. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, um, shit, I just it just popped in the head and it left that quick. Oh, man, why is her name popping into my head? 
Let's see, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, A, L, M, M, O. Man, it's so close in my head. What her name was. Um, man, it was just there again and it didn't stay. It was like, yeah, Melissa Pesky. There you go. Thanks, Jessica Schubach. Melissa Pesky's wild one where she's driving down the highway and I think somebody pulled right up next to her, carefully shot her while she's escaping her abusive husband with her children. She's shot while driving down the highway. And she had told a friend just prior to that that if anybody kills me, it's my husband. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but apparently that was it's not enough for something. I, I mean, you might have an alibi, but there's got to be a connection somehow. And what was the other one? Yeah. Gerald Coker one is nuts, though. One seven four thirty five. That's correct. Yeah, Prisma Reyes. That's another good one. Yeah, I like that one. That's a crazy as hell. That one. Oh yeah, you emailed me. That's right. I go north a little bit to Littles and set up on the side of that. The heat signature is kind of in that little northeast corner, going towards twenty five hundred one. We'll reposition you with. That's clear. Okay, okay. Yeah, a little. Okay, yeah, area of the van was found. One seven got that right nine. Yeah, another unit that had that way. They have it a little bit further down the road. Like, oops, they have it like, uh, you know, maybe right here, where the van was found. Okay. On nine ten. Okay. So the date's right. And then. What's number one? One seven four thirty five. I'm in the front of little. Officers reported hearing a gunshots at one twenty p.m. Oh, really? On nine twelve. So apparently, right here. Copy that. E signature. T signature is still going east of the silos. So if you can go in and try and get behind it on the northeast corner. Pretty hot. Okay. One twenty p.m. Nine, twelve, twenty twenty-three. Gunshots heard. Units along Pride are pots down. They're trying to push the heat signature south. They're trying to push it down. And let's see, right here. Let's see, one. This one says eight fourteen PM police searching the area and closing the road. Potential sighting at a barn. Yes, yeah, so I have that spot right. What's the other one? That one is shoes yeah, found in. One. Oh, the shoes found in woods, right there. Okay, there's the boots. All right. So, um, so th these woods right here. Yeah, one. That's crazy because there's no other woods out here, so it has to be uh, woods. Fa uh, shoes found in woods. That's nine, ten. PM. All units present are pots down. These signatures are going to be trying to push it towards you. So once again, use caution. They're trying to push the heat signature towards you. Must be on the 12. One time, Father, is running for into the woods. Look at Blue. He's going nuts out there. He must have just got a bath. Yeah. <laughs> All right. One time, Father, you do. Probably making your way into the woods. You're going to want to switch over to CPG. So there's a sighting. That's also, that's at 9-11, I guess. So they found his shoes that quickly and you lost him? Let me ask you something. How did he get into these woods and not be found immediately? You have to go a long ways to get to, to some other woods. Yeah, that's Pfizer Road. They, he has it about right over here. But those aren't woods there. I'm just kind of wondering... I don't know. All right, then. Uh, boots stolen. And they have it 
Right through King 98. Like we right over just here. Being lies, there's five units on foot. I don't think that's right, though. 1333. I don't think that's right because they said that the this is 100. They said it was west on Nat Mule Road. So, I don't think that one's right. This is 9, 11. All units on Prizer and Hostown do not enter the wood line. They're pushing them south towards you. They're pushing the heat signature south towards you. Oh, heat signature. signature. The wood line. Hey, do you hear that? There, There's something going on right here. Pfizer, they're pushing heat signatures. In 1732, to copy direct. Do not enter the wood line. Furnace. Oh, yeah. They got a heat signature out here, you guys. We might be on to the thing. Hold on. I'm going to go back a little bit. All units on Prizer and Pottstown do not enter the wood line. They're pushing them south towards you. They're pushing the heat signature south towards you. Do not enter the wood line. In 1732, King 98. Command post. Just be advised there's five units on foot at 1333. All units on Prizer and Pottstown do not enter the wood line. They're pushing them south towards you. They're pushing the heat signature south towards you. Do not enter the wood line. In 1732, to copy direct, do not enter the wood line. All units. This is crazy. Pottstown, do not enter the wood line. They're pushing them south towards you. They're pushing the heat signature south towards you. Do not enter the wood line. I'm, a, I'm just listening again. Command post, just be advised there's five units on foot at 1333. Right here. Probably. All units on Prizer and Pottstown, do not enter the wood line. They're pushing them south towards you. Oh. The heat signature south towards you. Do not enter the wood line. Right here. In 1732, to copy direct, do not enter the wood line. Furnace. In 17435, 17435, they're pushing your way. Make sure you're in position on the north side of Whittles if you can get there. Security 102, 75 KM2. I think it's 133. Uh, Ridge Road right, right here. One two nine, Crow Ten, Sector Two, secure. Ah oh, crap! Look at this. Oh man. In nine three king ninety eight and one seven pole thirty two. If you guys want to go on opposite end of the residence, but stay next to it, that's fine. But do not enter the wood line. Send to the unit calling. Go ahead. Sam, too, this is security 102. Can you give me a call? Here, I'm going to rewind it again. 1983. All units on Prizer and Pottstown do not enter the wood line. They're pushing them south towards you. Prizer and Pottstown. Do not enter the wood line. In 17432, to copy direct, do not enter the wood line. Wow, so they've got a In heat signature. Yeah, I've already got the 1333 with Pizer I already told you. On the north side of Whittles, if you can get there. Security 102, 75 KM2. Oh, they didn't say 133 Pizer. That could be Ridge Road, too. It's right there. They're pushing them south. If you guys want to go on opposite end of the residence, let's stay next to it. That's fine, but do not enter the wood line. Sam 2, the unit calling. Go ahead. Sam 2, this is Security 102. Can you give me a call at 1983? I'm going to go back again. Sorry. In 93 King 98 and 17 Pole 32. If you guys want to go on opposite end of the residence, that's not, it's not Prizer Road, whoever typed that in up there. That's fine, but do not enter the wood line. Sam 2, the unit calling. Go ahead. Sam 2, this is Security 102. Can you give me a call at 1983? Copy. Copy. Or you can call myself. In 17 Pole 35. Due east of Littles, directly in the woods, is where they're kind of pushing. Due east of Littles. Oh, okay. Of Littles? You know, 17 David, 25. What's he saying? 25. We're going to move you back a little and prize you towards Pottstown Pike. If you can position yourself along that pond between 1333 and Pottstown Pike. Okay. You know, 17 King, 39. If you want to start heading down, go where your unit is at Littles. And try and go to the south, east, west side of it, and position yourself there. We're trying to create a little wall. 
Okay. This I'll is crazy. All right. Copy that. They might be yeah, getting this guy. Burglary alarm, level one, Donovan Way. Called in by the homeowner, alarm went off about nine minutes ago. I-25 will be near. Copy that. This is the Pug Town. a perimeter on the Chrysler Pot Town Pike side. They're still trying to push it south and east. 112 to dispatch. Security 112 for Steve. Because they mentioned yeah, this road right here. Like I said, try to go to the south side a little. <sighs> but be flexible if we need to move you. Let me just hear this one more time. Seven Paul thirty five, due east. All units on Prizer and Pottstown do not enter the wood line. They're pushing them south towards you. They're pushing the heat signature south towards you. Do not enter the wood line. Prizer and Seven Paul thirty two to copy direct. Do not enter the wood line. Furnace. Oh, so maybe it is. One Seven Paul thirty five. One Seven Paul thirty five. They're pushing your way. Make sure you're in position. On the north side of Littles, if you can get there. What is he saying, Littles? Security 102, 75, Sam 2. What's a Littles? Brian, 129, scroll 10, sector 2, secure. Unit 9, 13, 98, and 17, pole 32. If you guys want to go on opposite ends of the residence, let's stay next to it. That's fine, but do not enter the wood line. Sam 2, the unit calling, go ahead. Sam 2, this is Security 102. Can you give me a call at 1983? Where are they saying that, Schroeder? Well, you can call myself. You know, 7 Paul 35, due east of Littles, directly in the woods is where they're kind of pushing. Due east of Littles. Uh, okay. Oh, there's Littles right there. Okay. You know, 17 David 25. Thank you. Thank you for that. We're going to move you back a little and prize you towards Pot Town. Who are I? Pike. Typed in Littles that didn't know. yourself along that pond between 1333 and Pottstown Pike. Pottstown Pike? And If you want to start heading down, go where oh. your unit is at Littles and try and go to the south. Okay, so you're right up there when you said Pizer Road. Position yourself there. We're trying to create a little wall. What did you say up okay. there? 1333. Copy that. Yeah, T2, Sam 1, call 8, copy, you have the burglary alarm, level 1, Donovan Way. Called in by the homeowner, alarm went off about 9 minutes ago. Okay, there's the 13, oh, it goes like there, there. that's kind of weird. Copy that. We're trying oh. to create a perimeter on the Chrysler Pottstown Pike side, they're still trying to push it south and east. 112 to dispatch. Security 112 for Steve. You know, 11739, like I said, they're trying to go to the south side of Little, but be flexible if we need to move you a little farther south. So okay. I think it's down in here is where they're now. trying to push the person. The ID card scanner at Smith Hall and both entrances is not working. Hey, don't you understand, sir? We, we don't care about that, that one. <laughs> Copy all the same. You know, David 25, you're in a good position right there. Careful. And what's happening, King 39? Your GPS is currently putting you in a good position. Just hold there. Time for work. 3 2 Sam 1. Yeah, 3 2 Sam 1. Yeah, We've got the caller on the line. Affirmative. Can you have him come to the front door? Yeah, 3 2 Sam 1 again. All units in current location, just hold your position. We haven't got an update on the heat signature yet. Or heat you can get this back. Well, sir, it's a guinea pig. I'm sorry to keep you guys all in. I hope this is him. I hope this is him. Yeah, three two Sam one. Caller should be making their way to the. Door I know now. somebody already told me that was okay, that was two fifty five five Pottstown Pike. Five is little. Three nine North Drive, now. Cross Street, Beach Lane, and Thick Morning, Charles Town Township, Major on there. Right there. Remember, from somebody above typed it in. You just have a 5194, okay? So thank you guys for putting that information up there. Whoever typed that in before was right about the 1333 Prizer Road. It was weird because the way they were first saying. I thought they were saying Pugtown, but it was actually... 27 for an engine. Engine and tank ready. 
71 Williams Run Road. But it was Pottstown. Like Parker Drive and Gap <laughs> Road. Pots for attaching Meister right. Canyon dwelling. It's a bear. What's it got in his mouth? Oh, he's got a five foot tall guy in his mouth. Holy crap, you guys are right about the bear attack. Well, what was it, Paw Town or whatever the hell it is? There's this, or is it Pew Town? I guess it's Pew Town, like a pew. So there's Pew Town there, and this one is um, Potts Town. So Pew Town and Potts Town. Pike. Ginger, are you puppy? Chloe. <laughs> <laughs> I have it. Yeah, Jerry, puppy, okay. Come on, get back there on. There are on the way. Get back on there. Man, that was. You know, every time this patch six five one sixty one comes on, that's when you know it's something. Um, it's going to be related. This patch thing here. Every time I've seen Same that. Same one work. Yeah, three two Sam one, okay. You get two five Sam one. Sam one. Just for me on side three. You can hold off for right now. Anyone yeah, needing to travel through the okay. woods during this time, they let the cops know. I know it's three and a half months. Unit 25 CM1, we just received a suspicious condition for 2552 Veronica Drive. The caller advised they heard a loud vehicle going through the neighborhood and saw someone with a flashlight. I don't know if it's related to the alarm that you're on right now or not. Five minute time delay. Not too far away from here, but definitely not. Uh, doesn't seem related to this. Unless he's out of the area and the signature is not him, right? Let me see, when you're, you're pushing a heat signature, these cameras are amazing. How can they not see that it's a human or not? Immediately. Jester from ALS 5-3, you can hold off right now on the ALS. Yeah, 3-9, call 9. Okay. 3-9, call 9. Yeah, 3-9, call 9, Township Building, 253 Municipal Drive. 3 9 will want to hang up. The original call was open line static. <laughs> um, call back, we got the general reading. Yeah, Sam one, that was the Alright, there's also a dog on the premise. And there is the way in, I do believe. Yeah, do you guys Sam one okay? Would you like this dude in? Yes, please. Three nine pole nine, okay. How pathetic Hi. are these guys, huh? Three nine pole seven, seven nine's called to me. Yeah, three nine pole seven, okay. <laughs> Just the two of us. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, yeah, Chloe's like, I've had better. I've had better. Between Parker Drive and Gap Road, Townsbury Township, Master County Dwelling. Right, one, two, nine, control ten, sector three, secure. Oh, look at she has it in her mouth. Look at 
<laughs> but Blue was yeah, trying to get it, but she didn't want Blue to have it, even though she yeah, didn't like it. Ah, oh, Jesus. What a... Roll on Sam 28, copy your traffic and play Route 100 East Sweet Twin Road. Traffic signal on flash. Rescuing Route 4. Rescuing. Clear, are you talking about? Come on, Blue. <laughs> what? You yeah, three, three, Paul, eighteen. I have a friend that worked, worked at Fleer. He left there, though. He worked there for like 25 years. I was like, man, don't you guys just make cheap? Call 18, call the alarm, 319, fair weather to rise, coming in from the basement windows. <laughs> All units on the perimeter of Prizer and Pottstown Plague are starting to make a push. Be prepared. Starting to make a push. Oh, whoa. Here we go. Here we go, you guys. Here we go. This could be it, man. This could be it. Seriously. Yes, we can your copy. Into twenty-seven, two. I just made a tweet, a tweet, a tweet of the show. Hey, this could be it, man. This could be it. Hey, wait. The one on the right looks like me. <laughs> what do you mean, Neely? As a responder, I'll take it. I'll take it, though. Anything. That... Tankery. I can hear the chopper in some above responder responding office. Oh, you can. Let's see if we the chopper's back around. Oh yeah, they must be getting a heat signature. Yeah, right? Paul seven, you guys. Paul seven, Tasuke. Anything appears secure. Yeah, three nine Paul seven, okay. Hmm. I wonder why I got All the heat signature. All units operating prior to impasse found plague. The EA had to break off the drone. Last known. Oh, drone. Signature was along the Beaver Run Creek in your general area. Once again, last known heat signature was in the area Beaver Run Creek in your general area. Well, it was a beaver, so. No, there is right there. Beaver Run Creek, last known heat signature. So right here. Here, let's. That's about as good as you can get. Really. Right here, heat signature. So he's been using the creeks, like we were saying. Heat signature, Beaver Run Creek. How about right here? There should be a little shot through there. In fact, that's Beaver Run Creek right here. He's trying to make his way here and get un underneath and out of the perimeter. If that's him. See that? Look at that. Oh, shit. Look at, look at what he's doing here. So here he is, and actually, let me let me redo this. That's not good enough. That's it was pretty lame actually. So here is um, Beaver Run. Looks like it kind of goes around. I can't see exactly right there, but it comes around, then through here, and then it looks like it actually goes like this and around. And then right here goes underneath the road. See? So there you go. There is Beaver Run. Let's 
Beaver Run Heat Signature in Creek. Seven, Paul thirty-two, and nine three King ninety-eight. It looks like they're pushing <laughs> from east to west. They just crossed Beaver Creek. So they're going they're this way. pushing towards you to the north. Ninety-eight, copy. Copy. You're not Paul seven. I'm clear. Yes, you're Paul seven. Okay. East to west. Let me re let me hear that one again. That, that doesn't make sense. You're not Paul 7, I'm clear. I'm right here. Yeah, 1 7, Paul 32, and 9 3 King 98. Looks like they're pushing from east to west. They just crossed Beaver Creek. So we're going to be pushing towards you to the north. So they're going on. Like so he's on Wonsdale. You're not Paul 7, I'm clear. Yeah, you're not Paul 7, okay. There's French Creek, so. This creek comes off of French Creek, right there. So that wouldn't take you out of the perimeter, actually. It just takes you... See, but if he can get down here... I don't know. See, he doesn't know. Does he really know, like, the entire... Like, what it looks like, really? Or... I mean, I guess if you climbed a tree, you could see there's a mountain over there. I mean, look at that. There's a mountain. So you could definitely see that from yeah, we'll somewhere. 597 East Chestnut Street, 597 East Chestnut Street. You must be in distance south for unknown nature. Okay. Right, 129, scroll 10, sector 1, secure. Sector 3, secure. 597 East Chestnut Street. I've got a sector. Do I clear it too? Order to warn the RPC. You need an ambulance disconnected. Let's read the voicemail and call back to Jones. So Copy. What do we got? <laughs> I bet some of you thought that was really audio, and you're like, "Wow, what a dummy!" I've got a sector. Do I clear it too? Unit seven five four five. Are you okay? Uh oh. They haven't ha he hasn't checked in. Yeah, I was just gonna try to close oh. so. There you go. Three three units, your status. Three three units, your status. Can you check a tag in Cody? Just we're checking the house with PSP. Okay. Three three four eight camera, okay. Unit seven five four five three. Unit three three four eighteen, okay. That's it's cool to know that they're up at one thirty seven in the morning over there. Yeah, all the news about the kitchen, right? I guess. All right. Caller said maybe possibly in the kitchen between the closet and the back door. Who? It's where she thought she was. Oh. Sir, this line is only for the fugitive. Thank you. There's no other cases that exist right now, currently. Thank you very much. <laughs> Man, it'd be so great to have this come to an end finally. We got him! That's all I want to hear and just say. And good night. Now he wouldn't say that. The tag. Get out of here. We can't have names like that in here. It's George Zero. Yeah. Oh God! You've got to be kidding, Lanky. I got to remove your comment. I got to remove Amber's comment. 
I gotta. I'm gonna block okay. this one. Unit seven five call five negative encoding. Jesus, get out of here. Corner two zero eight, please receive. Corner two zero eight, okay. Copy. Six zero Sam twenty one, clear me out, please. Six zero Sam twenty one. He wouldn't even be able to say what you said he just said. <laughs> God, you guys got to be kidding me. God bless you. He wouldn't even know how to say that. He go, God bless you. Uh, corn pop. Uh, you see that embarrassing shit the other day where he, he had to take him off the stage because he didn't even know what the, his yeah, own press secretary. Yeah, we're going to take a break. I'm going to go take a nap, everybody. Wow. Station 54 Ambulance, we're off by Apartments, 1100 West Church Pike, Department F Rank 17, West Station 10, Triple Assist. 52465. 16.41. Oh, somebody made a post on the accident. We're going to check on injuries. Somebody put their name in here and they called themselves Joe Biden 2024. And I'm, I'm like, Listen, I don't have, if you, you guys need to come up with a better candidate, okay? Because if you vote for him, <laughs> wow. Uh, <clears throat> you need to get your uh, head examined at that point. Wake three. Echo Lake North Tower. Have you ever seen anybody in your drive. life shake hands with air before? Third floor, apartment 339. Except for chance, press through the yeah, anytime you see somebody shake, <laughs> anytime you see somebody shaking hands with air, you got the wrong person. Twenty-seven two engine eight tank eight, you can all return. Yes, it's Paul forty-one. Copy a few registrations. So I don't care if you're a Democrat or whatever, but if you're actually like stoked for Joe Biden, then man, you you gotta sort of reevaluate your Alpha, way of thinking about three, something. Delta Alpha seven three Lima on a Subaru. Kilo Romeo Whiskey 8717 on a Honda. Gray, I didn't come here for politics, Finally, you bastard. Zulu, Sierra, well, Romeo, then don't allow people like two, Joe four, Biden 2024 to show up in here. Just across the creek, still pushing west. I need a copy. Yeah, it's affirmative, and you might as well start my own call hook for. Uh, Subaru, heavy front end damage, and uh, well, you be sure as hell better not vote for Joe Biden. Honda as well. Another old GHI free. Copy. Who cares where Zozo lives? Uh, another old GHI free. What, what do you care? What does that have to do with anything? You can see the Fair news. Well, sir. <laughs> I mean, I just. I think... two, call fifty six, Wawa number two, East Rose Avenue for a theft. You know, what, you know what I think is somebody from another country watching Biden are the ones that are the more accurate. Like, what's this guy doing? No weapons. No intoxication. He took several items of food. Very well, sir. They're not biased when they're looking at it. Flight 2, Paul 65. They have a vehicle description on one high street now. Are you talking to me, Angie? Adios, Trump lover. I'm out of here. See, you like these idiots that show up in here that are the cancel culture people. If you don't believe the way they believe, you're out of here. I never even said who I was voting for. I think Joe Biden is an embarrassment to the United States of America. He is absolutely is a joke of a president. And I'm sorry that any of you don't see that. He is an absolute embarrassment. Now, you might have thought the same thing about Trump, and that's okay that you thought about that about Trump, just like it's okay that I think Joe Biden is an absolute embarrassment to the United States. He, he actually scares the living shit out of me, one of the weakest people I've ever seen in my entire life. Okay? I don't agree, Gray. He is so cool. Uh, give me a freaking break. Just call 41, okay? Make it ring. Echo Lake North Tower, not on our Atwater Drive. Third floor, apartment 339. Except for chance, press through the phone. Five to close, six phone tap. Rescue me, that got your available. It's never seven, been a political two, channel. Eight, tanker, eight, you can all return. Yes, it's Paul 41. Copy a few registrations. Kind of Delta Alpha 733 Lima, one of Subaru. <laughs> 
That's right, Lanky Tour. Kilo Romeo whiskey, eight seven. He eats ice cream though. Don't forget that. He's got a whole refrigerator full of ice cream. I agree. And finally, Zulu Sierra Romeo four two four five. He's at Prizer and Pottstown Tax Limit just across the creek, still pushing west. It's affirmative, and you might as well start my alcohol hook for uh, Subaru heavy front end damage and uh, heavy front end damage. To hey, hey Zozo, that was one of the first things you ever said that made me actually yeah. like, like laugh hard. That was a good one. Was... La La number two, North <laughs> Avenue for a Oh Take man, that's subject. like one of the best ones I've ever heard. Oh. Several items was last seen heading northbound on High Street going oh, into man. town. No weapons, no intoxication. We took several items of food. I'm using Google Earth. Very well, sir. This is the perimeter here. They were pushing people in over here. People description on one High Street now. North Palm Avenue two, stopping route to the respiratory difficulty. Echo Lake North Tower, 900 Atwater Drive. Third floor, apartment 339, 339s. Advising is great for two patients. Caller was 84 male, short of breath, according to 82 year old female for this week. Well, it's a wait for the score. We do 3 3 again, your response. You have a possibility of two patients there. I'm just Positive. voting for whoever Republican gets in. You want to go by yourselves or you want another gets additional unit? The, uh, right, gets so chosen. The, the nominee. Back to a 2009 Ford SUV to a because I'm a Republican. Is that okay? Uh, is that okay to be a Republican? I'm just curious. Uh, there's people that get so angry if you tell right, them. If you want to set off where 178 is, 62 is, and just take a position there and just keep that boundary. I don't send a double. Here, we'll take 1241. Well, good, kitty cat. Do you have any updates on injuries? Can you repeat that transition? Yeah, I mean, here's a here, right. here's the reality. Right? Here, here's, the reality is, is I would vote for Mike Rowe if he okay. was an independent candidate to be president. I think that guy is one he of the greatest people well, ever. I don't really give a shit what party he was in or anything like that. But other than that, my thoughts in life are more sort of the... Uh, I used to try to get past and you know, like say shit like, well, I'm a social liberal and I'm a... Uh, fiscal conservative just to kind of Happy appease people, people but I uh, forget it man I'm not doing that anymore you know you too old for that shit um, so yeah Mike Happy Rowe Happy would be the greatest president ever he's a pragmatic person that everybody likes great speaker uh, unbelievable you know I just it's so weird somebody should just take him aside and make him the guy Ty comes back to a 2009 Ford SUV to a... Go to his Facebook page and listen to his comments he, and conversations he has with his mom and just... We're in the area of... Like, life and jobs and things like that. Needed. It's perfect. Friend, another one. I should be as... Right, I always talk about it. Where <laughs> one kind of needed. 62 is... And just take a position there and just keep that. Uh, well, I'll tell you what the, the what, to keep I don't yeah. send a novel. God, this, this is just. It will take 1241 to be travel time. They're just like bing, 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 bing. Do you have any update on Apparently, that? there's a heat signature in this creek right here, Beaver Run, and they're pushing whatever heat signature right. it is One, two, nine. south. Okay. And they're they're pressing in from this direction, okay. and they're trying to like flush the person out or, or whatever it is. Gone. An animal. Well, I don't know this now. Whatever it is. Hey, Robert, can I just do whatever the hell I feel like doing, Robert? Why don't you go tune into the, the radio out there on the web somewhere? Yeah. God, I, I can't stand people like come in and tell me how, what to how, what to do. Like yeah, it could be an animal. It could be a beaver since it's Beaver Run Creek, right? Permanent lock. The only way it can be opened is from the inside manually. Yeah, one four call four. Send me feedback for a comment. Okay, good luck, Robert. Go find somewhere else. Yeah, seven five Sixty five Sam forty one. Do you want me to go over to the South East Street address to see if the cars are over there? Yeah, I did say that. Isn't that embarrassing? Jesus. But no, it's just, you know, he's okay. He, I quit making excuses, everybody. Let's 
Let's see. Got me laughing out loud at 148. Sorry. <laughs> All good, Lori. All right. I do try to make people laugh, you know. Fancy, same condition on the rear main entrance door. Unit 7 5 cm 2, okay? Yeah, I agree with that one. C3. I'll be out the wall if that's okay. Yeah. That guy is lame. Mm -hmm. I just my I, I sort of agree with that forever 39 but I, I tend to most of the issues of the in the Republican Party I agree more with okay like I'm not for uh, women's uh, sports being invaded by people that are you know like transgenders playing female sports is not something that I think anybody should be into uh, supporting okay because women work too hard to get to where they are to only have men identifying as females taking their spots yet again, okay? So I know it sucks, but something else needs to be created. You know, uh, it just isn't something that should be allowed, and I'm kind of shocked that more people don't realize that. Okay, so, um, you know, I'm, I'm for transgenders being whoever they want to be. You know, you can be what you want to be and be yourself, but uh, to yeah, take spots from women, uh, no way, man, no way. Uh, you would think more women and more men would be protecting women's uh, sports over to, uh, like that. The South East Street address, see if the car's over there. 65, yeah. Same, too. Same condition on the rear main entrance door. It's you whatever I feel like it being, okay? Kelly, at the time, you know yeah, what i I'll be out the wall as fast as we can. Infowars, Jesus, what a what a clown! <laughs> Why don't you go to the store and see what information? I know they it's got. crazy. The car is going to drive by. Isn't that weird? Driveway. Men are fancy. Same condition on the rear main entrance door. Unit seven five cm two, okay? Go ahead to pull sixty five. I'll be out the wall as fast as we can. Sixty-five, sixty-five of it. Sixty-five, seven forty-one. It's going to be a mid-two thousands white Ford Explorer. You like Chris Christie? I'll right, yeah, yeah. see it down here. Yeah. I used to like him, but not as much in the last couple of years. Uh, let me see what uh, we're on for the. Yeah, so these last ones aren't related. It seems like the only ones related are these patch 651. Can you repeat that transmission? Let's see these ones. 10 4. Make you 4 with make you 3. Echo 8, North Tower, on her Atwater Drive. Third floor apartment 339. Sheriff and Township. Two patients, a respiratory difficulty. Mm -hmm. So none of these are related, right? Here. Not That was a, one of the funniest things I've ever heard. His brain's only there to keep his head from from caving in. Yeah. Let's see. The Wheaties. Is that like a a, 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 co a thing that people say over there in Australia? Or, or did you just come up with that one? Daily from Alice 5 for BLS. The Wheaties sure. guy who became a woman agrees with Gray. Hey, about, go ahead. Yeah, I mean, you're talking about uh, Caitlyn Jenner, right? Yeah. He. But you know what the thing, the problem is? He's the one that started that whole thing. When he won the ESPYs, he said that he thinks that people should be able to compete with in the sports with the gender that they identify with. He started that whole thing. 65, Sam 41. Where's the dispatch time? Good morning. I'm outside. But he realized okay, later that it was, didn't make together. sense. 54 year old female, 64 female. Uh, found with a hematoma and I do like DeSantis. Back of the yeah. head. Uh, she has ETOH on board. We believe that was the contributing factor. Vital signs are normal, and that she's relatively 
alert and orient it. Uh, and like I said, just a little bit of slurred speech. We'll give you more bedtime about I that. think uh, they're trying to get Gavin Newsom to be the candidate. Did she fall? For the Democrats. I'm sorry, yeah, if I didn't say that, yes, yeah, she did have a uh, fall unknown time. And no loss of consciousness. Music seven, Perfect. We'll see you when you get here. Come on, where's our patch sixty five? Thank you. <laughs> well, that was, that was a pretty good one there. Zozo, Zozo. One thirty nine, Chaplain. One three nine, Chaplain. For an audible burglar alarm coming from the master bedroom windows. Okay. I think something's going on here. I think something's going on. I lost about a hundred people when, after I when somebody named Joe Biden twenty four came in there and I blocked. You guys get down there. Yeah, we're fine. I'm just looking around. I can't find. Uh, Looker copied me, man. He copied. Roger. Me. Except his was before my post, but uh, we were already going over it. I don't think he's streaming now. He might though. He might start up again because he he likes to be the one that's got it going. You know. I'm sorry, everybody, for talking about politics for a few minutes, and that I don't like your guy. I'm sorry. <laughs> Not really. I think that actress actually he wanted to <sighs> cause storms. Let's so he wanted to park yeah. around somewhere. Yeah, I think I just figured that out. See, the freaks, even though we don't agree, like all of us don't agree on politics, you know, we don't, like, hate the person the next day. You know, like we're just having a conversation and it's just all good, man. The people out there, and I'm looking at you, whoever you are, that freak out when somebody uh, uh, politically doesn't agree and you want to block and cancel them there's something wrong with you okay because we didn't used to be like that as a country you should, we used to be able to talk about stuff have a beer together talk about it and it was okay and it seems like there's one party if you don't agree anymore you're some weird psycho kind of you know and it's really getting kind of old and you're sort of the reason why it's so divided you know so maybe Fix that a little bit in your own world. Thank you. Appreciate it. But, it, but the thing is great. It's, it's an existential, existential thing. I mean, we've... Ah, shut the hell up. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, 10.55 was the last post here. Be advised to you, Papa D6. Central Police Dispatch here. Yeah, he was good. Right. Yeah. As long, if you disagree, I mean, the thing is, I'm like that sometimes on crazy conspiracy shit like that. You know. But that's not the same thing as politics. It's just sort of an individual, you know, whatever you want to believe in. It's not the same as a factual pile of crap, you know. Negative, no air assets in the road. Last right, that's exactly right. Why does it reach? Beaver Creek, just to the west of the bank. Assets are in the woods pushing, but we don't have any air assets just now while the storm's are red. Camel 541 is responding, 1130 Westchester Pike in Adventure of Pembroke. And yeah, my Georgia. dad's smart as hell There's still. He's 84, you know. He just retired as a doctor. I got a hundred yards out. Still one of the best. There. Correction north of me. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Uh, there's a light. I can't. I'm going to replay that Camel one. Hold on. Right here, here we go. Copy that. Probably about a hundred yards out. South or correction north of me. Uh, there's a light. I can't tell you what it is. God, if that's the rifle light, the holy shit! You better get the hell out. In one area, uh, lights up, disappears, lights up again. Oh my God! Uh, lights off and now. disappears. So he's turning on and off okay, the scope. Due north of you, just on the other side of that pond, it's going to be one of the assets. Oh shit! Yeah. Is this a pond right here? No, it's not a pond. What pond? Right there, this one. 
we're going to give you a name. If you want to have the I have contact for a Sean Jordan showing. I have him coming back out of yeah, that was crazy. Wine Hall. Let me get the room number for you. That's now. right, Kitty Cat. That's exactly right. At 210 8 Alpha Brandy Wine Hall. 210 Brandy Wine, okay. Copy that. 65. Yeah, well, a uh, headshot isn't, you know, that Sean with a scope. Timothy Thanks. Jordan. It's cold freedom. Let me go back. Uh, uh, I'm going to hear that again. Hold uh, on. The last one is D Victor A Alpha. SCRF, That's not the one. Copy that. Probably about 100 yards out south or correction north of me. Uh, there's a light. I can't tell what it is. I don't know if it's anybody uh, friendly in there or not. But it's staying in one area. It uh, lights up, disappears, lights up again. Wow. So it That's spooky. Now. Okay, if it's due north of you, just on the other side of that pond, it's going to be one of the assets. Okay, that's an asset. Okay. Yeah, Where's the pond, though? There's ponds over here. I have contact for the Sean Jordan show. Copy that. All units on the inner perimeter for crossing lights can be activated. Lights can be deactivated. Deactivated. Ooh. Yeah, but that's a tag. Oh, that car they put out. 494, that car's going into New Street Garage. Your pleasure. Unit 6 7 Paul 31. Yeah, maybe we'll hit the strobe mode, call Megan. For Ghost EMS, Mickey 55, 305, Dorchester Road, Cross Street, White. Yes. Okay. Oops. Now oh, I gotta end the poll. So what was the question? Do you know about the Cheryl Coker case? And look at that. Seventy three percent said no. Man. That's one of the most interesting crazy cases they've ever ever seen, really. Uh, If this isn't the right signature, he just went out the back somewhere. Yes. Okay. Four you on to sixty-five. Go ahead. University's out with the vehicle in a parking garage. It's occupied. I'm making my way over there now. 10 4. 165, 1 can you respond? 14 to 10 2. We're going to be on the third floor right before the roof stop. Copy third floor. Yeah, 6 7 Paul 31. Caller's going to be the husband advising that the female is intoxicated, possibly on beer. Have you a movie, Frank? Take my drink it now. How do you get on the line? Go ahead. University's out with the vehicle in a parking garage. It's occupied. I'm making my way over there now. 10 4. 155, 1 can you respond? 14 to 10 2. We're going to be on the third floor right before the roof stop. Copy third floor. Two detained. Unit 75184, two detained, okay. 65, 41. Right now he's working on the made to order items that they never took. And apparently they took some bakery items. I'm just trying to get a price. Third floor. Third floor. Okay, third floor. That wasn't detained. regarding the case. Okay the killer didn't yeah, take bakery items, okay? Just letting you know that. Unit 75184, okay.
One out of twelve. <laughs> Every time I play that one, that's funny as hell. Man. Oh, God. You got to admit, man. He actually moonwalked the hell up that side of that building there. You must have seen that, right? Ding, 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 Reverend 65 Beth, the University's Alabama vehicle, New Street Garage. I'll be out with him. Wow, the next one's right. a prison. 129, control 10, juvenile center secure. Unified to CM4100. Well, we got another hour, okay, you guys? If they haven't flushed out that um, porcupine out of the uh, the creek there by then. Yeah, sir, it looks like we got a porcupine in the creek there. It's not it's not the killer. Well, where the hell is the killer then? Well, we're not really sure at this point. We diverted all of our resources to the creek. Oh, God. Oh, geez, we're in trouble now. And I meant diverted, not divorted. Hey, hey, whatever the, that heat was in the back in the creek. <laughs> was it? Was it? Back? Yeah. Chloe, come here, Chloe. Come here. Hey, Blue, what's going on, buddy? Hi, buddy. Come here, Chloe. Come here, Blue. Come here. Thank you for keeping us all up to date. Yeah, no problem. Look at Blue, hey. There's Blue. Say hello to everybody. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to let him outside. Go get him. Go get him, Blue. Ding, 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 ding. Is that the one? Yeah. Well, still uh, active here. No new comment for three minutes. Oh, a bad storm rolling through, huh? Hope you have a uh, waterproof drone. Those don't do good in the in the rain. Everyone should go out and pee in the creek and pond. Why is that? To make it deeper? <laughs> yeah, there's nothing being said now. Here's one. Six, seven, you know, two, five. It won't work, yeah. I don't have any cats. I don't have any cats, Megan. I'm okay. Uh, so yeah, any cats that I have must look terrible. Let's see, those guys are standing out there like statues. Airing for thermal update.
Damn typo again. Well, I just don't know what the what the joke is about the the my cats look unhealthy. I don't know what the humor value part was. I guess I that's the part I missed out on. Uh, let's see, on that garage killing, did they release the caliber? Uh, I don't know if they did or not. The audio of that, see the audio I used was from the ring doorbell camera of the house and I just timed it up with the gunshots from the other video across the street. Because they had their own surveillance camera that had way high, Failing clear audio right. going on. Oh. Let's six see. seven Paul thirty. Your relief has been dispatched. It's going to be a trooper. Okay. What do you mean the other person was wearing? Oh no, I, I'm not going to look at something like that. You don't know what outfit the person was wearing. Mickey 33, bring 85 year old male COVID positive, shorter breath, one, two liters, resting comfortably, but the funds are stable. And we'll see. No, that's not what they were wearing. 1107 control 10, Zachary 3, secure. Stop. Stop. Hey, thanks, Sand Sandra, for the PayPal there. Yeah, I don't think that that's what she was wearing. Princess Leia outfit. She was wearing this long dress with cowboy boots on. It's a totally different look. I'm not going to play the ring camera again. I, you can go look up my video, Elizabeth Barraza, on YouTube, and you'll find it. One seven four three two repeat. Guys, got to be here on time. The assets are sweeping in the wood line just north of you, just north of the house. Right, you can actually hit the rewind button. That's why I have rewind available. Yeah, they're on a private network. Oh, I see. My my you say my cats look unhealthy because if they were cats, they look terrible. <laughs> I get it. I get it. Took me a minute. Because they don't look like cats. So of course they're they look terrible, but if you knew that they were dogs, you go, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you thought they were cats, you know, then they look horrible because what they neither of them look like cats. They look terrible. Ah, I'm not sure Manhunt ever captivated me as much as this one. Well, Idaho wasn't really a, well, it was, wasn't a Manhunt where there's this known like person immediately and like sightings and stuff running around idaho was an unknown person so it's not even remotely the same but i'm not uh like to me this is just yeah you know it's mildly interesting it's not uh you know i don't know why why it's i mean it's interesting that's why i'm doing it you know so but it's not like oh my god i got oh god you know, like, I, I don't, you know, need to know every second of every day of. Mm -hmm. Right. That's what, that's, that's the joke. Okay. I finally got it. Uh, the update was that they they found that there was a heat signature th that they were pushing uh, that was in Beaver Run Creek right here in the red, and law enforcement was pushing them in a, that signature in a direction, 
and we don't know what it entailed or meant. Got a car alarm going on north of us. Okay, these are. Wait, we. What time is it? Oh, these are all patches. Hold on, let me go back. We missed these. Yeah, it's at 1333. Just be wise. Ask just north of you, still on the wood line. One seven four three two repeat. The assets are sweeping in the wood line just north of you, just north of the house. Okay. Got a car alarm going on north of us. Which unit and where? One seven David twenty five, just north of us. What a terrible Stop. job for these officers with a guy with a gun right I'm there. You could just shoot any one of them. The parking lot of the John Deere, I believe it was accidental. All right, copy. Was in the parking lot of John Deere. Oh, isn't that what this is? John Deere right here? Hey, what did he say? 1739. That was in the parking lot of the John Deere. I believe it was 172. Which unit and where? Got a car alarm going on north of us. Which unit and where? 17 David 25, just north of us. Stop. 1739. Which unit and where? 17 David 25, just north of us. Stop. 1739. That was in the parking lot of the John David. Deere. I believe it was accidental. Alright, copy. It was in the parking lot of John Deere. No, that's going to scare the guy. Just want to confirm that vehicle is in the parking lot where you're located, and it is secure. 35, I didn't hear it on the front of the building. It must be to the rear. Copy that on the front of the building. Not well, thank you. What was going on? I can see the pickup truck. Copy that. Hopefully they find him. <laughs> yeah. Well, I already well I already saw it a minute ago that Littles was the John Deere location. This is the creek here. It's kind of like eerie, eerily uh, quiet, don't you think? It sounds so quiet, you guys. It's so quiet that you could. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, <coughs> boom. Let me play this. When we hear audio, we'll take this off. From the green forests of the Pacific Northwest, I bid you all good evening, or good morning, as the case may be. Yes, tonight we have on a special guest, Linda Molden Howe. She's going to be talking about cattle mutilation and crop circles. Next we have remote viewer Major Ed Dane. He's going to tell us some things you can't believe about what our future has in store for us. And then, the final guest of the evening will be Richard C. Hoagland. And he's going to tell us why we haven't been back to the moon in a hundred years. <laughs> well, that we weren't on the moon in 1923. Uh, and good evening and welcome.
Hey, what was it? One one seven control ten sector one secure. Sector hey, one secure. Was one. Copy. Did you get a response from uh, electronic security on whether or not they'll come out to fix the door? Hey, what about this one? Too negative. I left a voicemail. The phone went straight to voicemail. Not on. Okay. This is PIR, Portland International Raceway, where the biggest thing is a Pinewood drag. We have Rod Lieber, a retired astronaut with his hydroelectric car. Yes, it's guaranteed to rip up the road right in front of your face. We also have Jim Hansen with his Beaver Mobile, the only car that'll knock down trees at 200 miles an hour. Trials from 6 and 7 be there. <laughs> oh, there we go. That one's uh, one of the patches. One seven, David twenty-five. In one seven, David twenty-five. That's it. Nothing. Yeah, that light I was talking about earlier. Yes, sir. We've oh, caught a beaver, everybody, and boy, do they taste good. In the meantime, we've been barbecuing. Come on down and have a bite. Okay, How dare you, great beavers are. Protected creatures, you bastard. Yeah. Well, have you ever tried flossing a beaver's to tooth? Fries are on 100. It's due north of me, maybe about 50 yards into the tree line, it looks like. Copy that. Yeah, so let's see. I'm, I'm kind of at the corner here of um, Fries are on 100. It's Due north of me, right maybe here. about 50 yards into the tree line, it looks like. Copy yeah, that. What is? Hold on, we gotta go back. Yeah, that light I was talking about earlier, it's um, still the same location, kind of hovering. It's actually supposed to be red now. I don't know if it's still one of our assets or not. Okay, is that just due north of that pond? Is that, is that a I'm pond? I'm kind of at the corner here of um, Pfizer and 100. It's Due north of me, maybe about 50 yards into the tree line. Right, right there, right there. Copy that. God, I wish they would just keep the conversation going. So in this tree here. Wow, that's nutty. <laughs> God, wouldn't that be insane if he got in there somehow? Because you could do it, right? I mean, the creek right here, you sneak through this tree, kind of get through, you know, whatever it is, like hop over to here, and then boom, boom, you're right there. And you're trying to make it outside the perimeter. I mean, God, if he just bolts across the street there, you, you know, and then he's got this whole other area right here. Hmm. The drone is just about right over it. I'm sorry, what was that? Seriously, you guys should try barbecue beaver. It's the not too bad. It's just about right over it. A little gamey, you know. But, but as we all say, it tastes like chicken. All right? <laughs> You know what might taste really good? A duckbill platypus. Little little duck. 
with a little beaver mixed in together. Oh yeah. By the way, what a weird creature that one is, huh? A mammal that lays eggs like a freaking, like a duck. And by God, it has a duck bill on it. But then it has these poisonous spikes on its uh, rear legs, I think. I mean, it's like the craziest thing I've ever seen. I mean, who the hell invented that one? Uh, you know what I think? I think that day God was um, on, you know, he might have taken some acid. I mean, because who comes up with that? Um, the drone is right over us beside a sheriff's car that has his running lights on. Red hey, good night, Sandy yeah. Shirley. Thanks for being here. <clears throat> okay, but the sheriff's car should be northwest of the pond. He, I think he was reporting the white northeast of the pond going towards Little. <laughs> Sounds delicious. Fall 42. <laughs> right, let me go back to that one. Hold on. We have a sheriff's car here with his uh, running lights on. Let me go back. Tim, is it possible uh, it's the lights from the sheriff's department's break list? I'll repeat that last report. We have a sheriff's car here with its uh, running lights on, uh, showing red, so that might be what uh, D25 is saying. We have the drone right overhead of us. Oh. The drone is right over us. We're beside a sheriff's car that has his running lights on. Red could be the light D25 is saying. Mm. Okay, but the sheriff's car should be north west of the pond. He, I think he was reporting the white northeast of the pond going towards Little. I think this is a pond, but it's on, the map isn't right for it. Let's go look. Hold on a second. Oh, there you go. Boom. That's a pond. That's the pond right there. Okay. So this is the pond that they've been talking about. Yeah, so that guy was trying to help out, but they didn't clear. They got the wrong. That's not right. So this is still... I just want to confirm that is not over you or your vehicle, correct? All right, so the flashlight was in the tree line northeast of the pond. Turns now west. Unit 174, 42. Pole 42. Good night, three King. I just want to confirm that is not over you or your vehicle, correct? This is crazy. It's not directly above us. But look how it's on a hill because the map isn't quite right. Let's go back to the, these ones. 17 David 25. In 17 David 25. Yeah, that light I was talking about earlier, it's, um, still the same location, kind of hovering. It's actually supposed to be red now. I don't know if it's still one of our assets or not. Okay, is that just due north of that pond? I'm kind of at the corner here of um, Pfizer and 100. It's due north of me, maybe about 50 yards into the tree line, it looks like. Copy that. I think it's the right in this tree. Right over it. I'm sorry, what was that? That's 53 yards it's right there. Like it's just about right over it. It's right in there. Tim, is it possible uh, it's the lights from the Sheriff's Department's break list? I'll repeat that last report. We have a Sheriff's car here. With his uh, running lights on, uh, showing red, so that might be what uh, D25 is saying. We have the drone right overhead of us. Where are we, your last? The drone is right over us. We're beside a sheriff's car that has his running lights on. Red could be the light D25 is saying. Okay, but the sheriff's car should be northwest of the pond. He, I think he was reporting the light northeast of the pond going towards Little's. You want to fall 42? And that that's correct. It's in a tree line. Uh, the uh, drone is now to the west of it. All right. So the flashlight was in the tree line northeast of the pond. Drone is now west. Of it. Unit one seven pole forty two. Pole forty two. Good night, three king. I just want to confirm that is not over you or your vehicle, correct? This is crazy. They're trying to figure out what that light is. Not correctly above us. Copy that. Paul 32 to uh, D25. Paul 32, go ahead. I understand from the running lights, see if that kills what D25 is hit. Okay, you're saying the running lights are hitting a slope? 
Yeah, 32. I believe you were probably correct. It's um, the lights are not visible now. Okay, so they squared away the light. Right, yeah, back on now so we can see it. 1107 control 10, sector 2 secure. Okay. Copy, be in the shower, stay cool, run lights. Man, that was a lot of time spent just figuring out what a little light is. You know, like literally, you know, 10 minutes of their chatter and just people focused in on trying to figure out something like that where, hell, he probably ran right by him. <laughs> They're looking up at the drone. Well, your drone's over there. And this guy's like the bionic man sound. And then... And he's just running by really quick. Yeah. <laughs> that was the bionic eye sound. You remember that one? It was like. Yeah, let's see if they actually have it uh, out there. Let's see if I got how close I got it to that. Bionic eye sound effect. There you go. Let's see. That was close. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> hey, all right, man. That is not bad. Yeah, that one went. It went oh, I used to be able to do it. It's like. Yeah. Let's see. Let me try it again. Let me do it again. Let's see. Bionic man jumping sound. Two forty nine Dove with drop. Perfect cover green drop on a rotation ship purple. <laughs> there it is. I gotta get these sound effects. I, I forgot about that. You know, you know, I always say this one thing I gotta say about the Bionic Man show. Don't you think it's extremely lucky that he needed two bionic legs? Imagine if he had one bionic leg, what that would look like when he was trying to run really fast. He'd be like, ah, 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 like really jerky. You'd almost want to get rid of the one leg just to get the other one in there. Again, the drone's like a radio alert. I'm a new lower block in the lake. Hello, Mr. 189, Mr. 193, 249, dog with drop. Perfect cover green drop on a ship purple. <laughs> Remember the episode, The Seven Million Dollar Man? Because he had another arm that was bionic. Oh, God, that was... That was scary times, man. And then Jamie Summers, the bionic woman. Well, they were, like, engaged to be married at one point. But she forgot all about it. Here's on Coral Street. Here's not us. And thus, a new show began. One seven Sam two. Putting a pair secure. Sometimes make contact. Copy PA registration. F Fox Drop. J Juliet. M Mike. P Papa. I hear the helicopter. Romeo, M Mike. Black Cadillac. Yeah, We're not on the right scanner, though. These are West Fire. Caller is the female with 
たんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたん
that was it, man. I don't have the ring part of it, but the ring, you know, the outside, the, the wires, or whatever. If he used to prison food, then he is well versed in going days without eating. Well, no, they eat when they're in prison. Yeah, why is that? What time is it? I got 20 more minutes. Yeah, it's just nothing. Yes, it just died. I think. Yeah, there's nothing since 1138. I'll go back to the earlier pat. Ah, well, that's just the same. Shut your headlights out. Right? So he's he's heading. So what's interesting about like this area here, if you got to that creek, man, that's weird. So was he up in in this area and then went through like this, got into the creek, and then wound down like this, and then he started pushing it. My location, eight-year-old female suffering from a fall. Okay. That's almost like how he would do it, right? There's the creek. So he snuck to the woods and he found the creek. And then he headed this direction and kept following it. But then he could see through the trees some cops. So he kind of kept going. And then they're seeing a heat signature and they're pushing him. You know, he's right in this area at that time. Three nine, Sam 2. Make it BLS. Yeah, three nine, Sam 2. Okay. Worms will do. Just squeeze out their crap. He's on the stripper pole. Wow. God, maybe that's possible. He does look like Prince. Ever eat a pine tree? No, no. I gotta say, I never went out into Central Oregon. Went next up to a pine tree and just started biting it. You know. Mickey one forty six thirty three to Norma Drive between Ray Road and Silver Road. Callum Township A four. Seventeen more minutes. Are you sure? That helicopter's about to take off? Seriously? Oh, there it is. Look at that. B-407. Okay. The weather must have cleared up for him. Alright, alright. That might extend some time here.
CPT to car number five. Command post to eight two Paul Robert five. Eight two Paul Robert five. All right, I just want to confirm you're on Prizer Road between the North Coventry Collar and Wind Farm Lane, correct? Stand by. One Man, seven, I... David twenty five. Be advised, my vehicles are unmarked. Okay, hold on. Forward. CPT two, Paul Robert five. I have no pain in my shoulder after being that tetanus shot. Command post to eight two, Paul Robert five. How is that possible? Eight two, Paul Robert five. Right, I just want to confirm you're on Prizer Road between the North Coventry Collar and Wind Farm Lane, correct? Stand by. One seven, David twenty five. Be advised, my vehicles are unmarked. I'll be a Ford SUV. I'm going back to eight two Paul Robert five. Command post to eight two Paul Robert five. Eight two Paul Robert five. All right, I just want to confirm you're on Prizer Road between the North Coventry Collar and Wind Farm Lane, correct? Stand by. One seven David twenty five. Be advised, my vehicles are unmarked. I'll be a Ford SUV. Where is there a Wind Farm Lane? Maybe these have names, these little... Play Gray's rap on re what do you mean? <laughs> what rap? When? Pfizer Road starts, right? Or not Pfizer, Pfizer. That's right there. So then you said no, it's Fairview. What the hell is Prizer again? Jesus. Over here. Wind Farm Lane. Pretty sure I heard that. I'll play those again. CP to A2, Car Robert 5. Command post to eight two Paul Robert five. Eight two Paul Robert five. Right, I just want to confirm you're on Prizer Road between the North Coventry Collar and Wind Farm Lane, correct? Stand by. One seven David twenty five. Be advised, my vehicles are unmarked. I'll be a Ford SUV. Three nine Sam two. Do we have an ETA? Three yeah, nine Sam two. Stand by. Same two copy. Thank you. Okay. 
Oh, he's taking off. He's heading there. Here we go. Command posted units operating on perimeter in the area of Kaiser. We have a helicopter in route. Be on site momentarily. <laughs> They're talking about this helicopter. 8409 in route. This is sweet. This might be the shit right here. Does does it help visualize it, you guys? What's what's really got me worried is this helicopter doesn't seem to have working rotors. It's like literally not moving and I'm not sure how it's flying. <laughs> this thing's flying like a bat out of hell, isn't it? I mean, look at this thing. Big 83, 251 Green Street, between Maple Street, South Florida Avenue, works for Burma, Cumber County, I think he goes 20 miles or something. I mean, he is, he is uh, kicking, I mean, really, that's going pretty quick. They're trying to, he's trying to get there right now, because they got the guy there. Yeah, he's like, he's up here right now, like right around in this area here. It's actually right there. See that? Yeah, it's a similar little shape there. And then right then it curved into like this. I'm not sure why, but... So now it's right in... Yeah, I'm not sure why it's heading down like this currently. It's kind of dumb. Doesn't make sense. You're gonna have to turn this way, quick. You're wasting time. Yeah, he needs to take a left up there. Uh, view right, but left to him. Because he's uh, right over here. Right now. It's like you need to go like that. Right? 1 7, David 25. Maybe he's avoiding weather. Advisor. You guys hear that noise a second ago? Kind of like possibly a uh, low caliber. Uh oh. Throat fire. Uh oh. He's going to go through to Oh, they heard Copy something. Two units heard a low caliber discharge. Uh oh, low caliber discharge. God, what if that's him doing something? One seven, <laughs> David twenty five. Just want to confirm. Two units heard a low caliber discharge. That's what we believe it sounded like. It came to the from the west of us. Wow, this is getting crazy right now. It feels like uh, something's going on here. Okay, came from the west of you. Just want to confirm. You're on Prizer Road, just down at the end of the driveway, thirteen thirty. That is correct. One seven call thirty two came from the east in between myself and D twenty five.
you need eight people over five. You're in that area on Prizer. Did you hear anything in direction? A2, Polar Arbor 5, 10 4. We heard the noise uh, to our west between 1401 and 1451 on Prizer. Okay, so between 1401 of Prizer and 1451 Wind Farm? A2, Polar Arbor 5, 10 4. We heard the noise uh, to our west between 1401 and 1451 on Prizer. Okay, so between 1401 of Prizer and 1451 Wind Farm. 11 control 10, work release secure. Wind 7, 12, 32, <clears throat> now with uh, VSP. You said you moved the branch on the other side, was it? Well, you should repeat your last. Trooper just moved the big branch. Unsure if that's what it was. Wish unit, can you repeat your last report? Now with the trooper who just moved the branch. Is the branch? And, uh, that's what the gunshot. Copy was? trooper possibly moved the branch, possibly the cause of the noise. I got one seven David twenty five. Just check with troopers further down on uh, the road. Apparently there's a walnut falling out of a tree hitting the roof of the car. I've got a walnut sound like a low caliber gun. On a hard top, Prizer, hot sound plate, please turn on your overheads. Please turn on your overheads. I'm eating an apple, if you guys don't mind. All units on Prizer Road, have your headlights on. Can you turn your headlights on if you're on Prizer Road? I'm going to rewind that again. 1712-32. Now with the DSP. You said you moved the branch. I don't know if that was it. What are you saying? I repeat your last. Trooper just moved the big branch. Unsure. 17 David 25. Is anybody else on Prizer? You guys hear that noise a second ago? Kind of like possibly a uh, low caliber road fire. 27 12 32, I heard it. Copy two units, heard a low caliber discharge. 17 David 25, just want to confirm. Two units, heard a low caliber discharge. That's what we believe it sounded like came to the, from the west of us. Okay, came from the west of you, just want to confirm your own prize or road just down at the end of the driveway, 1330. That is correct. One seven five three two came from the east. Okay, came from the west of you. Just want to confirm your own prize or road just down at the end of the driveway, thirteen thirty. That is correct. One seven five three two came from the east. Myself from D twenty five. In A two Polar Arbor five, you're in that area on prize, or did you hear anything in direction? A two Polar Arbor five. 10 4. We heard the noise uh, to our west between 1401 and 1451 on Prizer. Okay, so between 1401 of Prizer and 1451 Wind Farm? No, he said Prizer. 1107 Control 10. Work release secure. 171232. <clears throat> now with the uh, DSP. He said he moved the branch. I don't know if that was it. Well, you saying I repeat your last? Trooper just moved the big branch. Unsure if that's what it was. Wish well, unit, can you repeat your last report? Now with the trooper who just moved the branch, it may have been that. Copy trooper, possibly moved the branch, possibly the cause of the noise. One seven David twenty five. Just check with troopers further down on uh, the road. Apparently, it was a walnut falling out of a tree hitting the roof of a car. Affirmative, we are checking with that. Any unit that's on a hard top, Prizer, hot sound plate, please turn on your overheads. Please turn on your overheads. All units on Prizer Road, have your headlights on. What a load of Prizer, shit. You turn your it's not a, it's not a freaking Prizer road. eight corner wa again, walnut falling on a car. Prizer road, please turn on your vehicle. How could you hear it from 100 yards away? Give me a break. No, no chance. 133. 
Think through, think yeah, through it. Is. If you're not on prize, you're leave your lights off. A you're walnut prize, hitting a car and you're 200 you're yards away and you heard it? Give me a break. Units on Pottstown Pike. Units on Pottstown Pike. Also turn your lights on. Units on Pottstown Pike. Turn your lights on. In 17 Paul 35, if your vehicle is on Littles, keep them off. We have copy. There's a school right there. Right there. So in this map, the school is over here. So it should be heading uh, east of the school. In a minute, he'll be right there. P2, Paul Robert, five. <laughs> right, Lisa, they seem a little jumpy. P2, right? Paul Robert, five. I heard what sounded like a bazooka. Our location is west of the Coventryville car. Directly across what is it? Where, 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 sir, where? Well, my um, kid's playing a video game. That might be it. Copy it. Keep your position there. If you're on the... Prizer, turn on your headlights and your car lights. 1107 Pearl, 10 seconds, once again. 10 for This guy got, he didn't get the memo here. Hello, Earth to B407. We need you over here where we're trying to flush out a porcupine. Exactly, sir. That's why I'm flying over here. No, it wasn't a walnut. There's no way in hell somebody 200 yards away heard a walnut and thought it was a gunshot. All right, here it goes. It's starting to head into the right direction here. We, um, let's see. There's that. So that little, let's just look at that little shape there and then know that that's close. Yeah, so we want him coming in. He's going to come in like this. Man, are you getting any this kind of coverage anywhere else, you guys? Seriously. This type of tactical view here where we're looking at it? Well, the answer is no, okay? <laughs> uh, anyways, it's going to take a hard right here in a second. Yep, there he goes. Boom. Okay, so uh, look where he is compared to this field here. Just look at that. And now we'll open up. Oh, there it is right there. So right there he just came here and then curved back up. But it was right there. He was close to that little creek. He needs to get right in, like right around in here. Unless they think he escaped again. God, really? Can you get more of these? These are so good. These Those apples you got in there?
Looked like he was kind of in the right area there. I'm going to start control 10, sector 2 is secure. Okay. Sector 7. Yeah, he, he's flying right over this now. So maybe he'll take a hard right here in a second. I'm trying to figure out why he's not going right over the creek like they were saying. So right there, take a right. Man. That's a uh, honey crisp. Oh, okay, there goes my stomach. Yeah, it was a honey crisp apple. But it's a, I don't know, it was particularly good. <laughs> Man. Honey crisp are the best. I don't think so, Gray. I like the. Well, you haven't tried a uh, really good honey crisp then because. Technically, they're the best apple that's ever been known to mankind, okay? <laughs> ah, God, here we go. Yeah, right now they're right in where the gunshot maybe was heard. Right now. Yep. Right in this ex this section right here is where maybe the gunshots were heard. And currently uh, heading back again to that same little discolored area here. So he's in the right general area here for sure. That creek area was right there. Yeah, everyone always says, yeah, I like Pink Lady this, I like Fuji, yeah, 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 yeah. Try a Honey Crisp, okay? They're just factually better. <laughs> I've eaten all the other ones. Yeah, Honeycrisp used to be really delicate little things. If you just nicked them, they'd bruise. But it seems like they fixed that a little bit. Anyways, the, every once in a while, you know, you get them. There's different growers and everything. Whatever the one I'm eating right in there, it was so good. Kind of had a little bit more of a sour-ish in it, with it, you know. Ah, so good. All right, and that right now, it is flying exactly where is it right there yeah so that goes across the road yeah it was right here this is the 35 this is littles right here 50 and 28 there's five kids walking around that came out from uh poor house and they're walking over towards uh no if that's little he should be driving flying down here just seems out of place i'm just gonna cruise by and just give you a heads up yeah. Wait, where's the pond? That's not it there. No, that's the pond right there. There you go. Okay, so he did fly. He's been in the right spot here. There's the pond. And there's the creek. And there's Littles. What we want him to do is to hover somewhere. Because that might mean something. How could a walnut sound like gunfire to like three different cops that are all spread out a long distance? I mean, I mean, I don't know, man. Think through that a little bit. I'm talking about not to them. It's the loudest walnut in the history of the planet.
Eleven is our control ten data center sig here. Okay. Well, it got quiet really fast. One volume one, NBC, for another I think right now he's outside the perimeter. Mm -hmm. This road's the perimeter here. And now it's going over that pond again. No. Oh, wow, that was a quick turn. <laughs> uh oh, what's going on here? What's he doing? Wow. Maybe that was an error. He went. He really went like this. Oh. 
Contact. Well, I don't know, Control 10, Sector 3, secure. Contact. You know why you call five, turn one. One eight point five. You know one five, Sam eleven, one. One five, Sam eleven. Also mobile, Sam twenty one, please. Yeah, six zero, Paul eleven, one. Yeah, six zero, Paul eleven, code one. Two one, Paul eight, you can lock them off. Six zero, course. Yeah, two one, Paul eight, okay. Unit two six, Paul twenty eight, code one. Six zero cars. Right. Unit four one Paul thirty five. Code one. Four one Paul thirty five. <laughs> Unit one five Paul ninety one. Code one. Yeah, this is definitely the area here. Unit yeah, six two Sam two. Code one. Two seven Paul thirty eight code one. Two seven. Same two. Unit two nine Paul five code one. Two nine Paul. Unit two five Sam one code one. One Adam twelve. One Adam twelve. Unit three two Sam one code one. Squad fifty one KMG three six five. Unit zero six Paul one code one. Three two cars. Paul one. Unit three two Paul four. Call for it. Yeah, four seven, call seven, good one. Call for it. Four seven, call seven. Four seven, call seven. Four seven, call seven. Yeah, four five. Yeah, that's up. Yeah, four seven, call five, good one. Four seven, call five. 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 You never can take a trap chicken loop. 705 North Reeds Road, 705 North Reeds Road. We're going to talk about Condition. Probably the subject tried to open the front door. Pretty loud bang. Caller has the door wedged at this time. Caller's advising me are not from the Hey, you heard fried chicken? Nice. And have locked themselves in the bedroom. I said Kentucky fried chicken, but it's pretty close. 47, Unit 47, Paul 5, good one. Where's the closet? Close on the phone. Close on the phone. Make you 125. 101 Gate House Drive. Cross Street Union Order. Small Town Station. Why does checking in make it seem like they found it? 401 Sam 28, good one. Yeah, 08 Paul 10, good one. 401 Sam 28. Yeah, 33 Paul 5, good one. I mean, why don't they just have this guy zip right over to where the heat you signature three, three, was? Call five, code one. Instead of this looping. Yeah, you know, Thirty-three cars. Yeah, zero eight, call three, code one. Two one forty-six three. Side two cars. We're good. We're just gonna be on the same team as long Side two cars. Okay. Unit 27, Paul 44, good one. 27, Paul 44. Unit 16, Paul 41, good one. 16 cars. Unit 41, Paul 50, good one. 50. There's that. Is that. Accurate. That's the pond right there. All central units, okay. That's, so that's there's virtually what they're looking at, but at night, this greenery. The driveway advised that they're staying in one of the cottages that's closest to the roadway. There is another cottage that is further back. Hold on, okay. That seems accurate this time. Oh, it's, is it hovering? Okay.
Pretty good satellite uh, imagery they're using here for this. We don't have that. On Google Earth isn't even that clear. Yeah, that's that that tan field again. Yeah, I think. Yeah. I always like to pick out a sort of a, a look that you can easily see again. Oh, cool. That's kind of neat. The little fan. Oh, I see what you're saying. Uh, the fan funding thing. It all shows up on here. Well, wow, that's kind of neat. I think that allows you to do something with this on the screen. I don't know. It's interesting. I'll, um, let me show you guys something. See what I there's this thing now on the. I think this is what. Look at they're all right here. The fan funding like in order on the screen right there. And that was. Um, if you go down and click, if you're a moderator, I think. Ah, hell, I don't even remember how, how I got there now. Jesus. Oh, yeah. In the upper left where you can hit top chat and live chat, there's a fan funding option. It's kind of cool. You guys ever seen that? Where you can... I don't know if anybody but moderators can see that, but if you're not a moderator, can you click up on where it says top chat and is there an option for fan funding? What do you mean, look where it is now? It's flying around like it's been. 44 months by Lanky Tour. 161, I'm waiting for our phone song. Yeah, 161, I want to get. Well, anyways, you guys, I think, uh, I don't know. I mean, I, I'd like to sit here all night hoping for something, but... Um, how about another... Six minutes. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> Look at Robert's been on the screen all night. The guy that's no longer here. Oh, no, sorry, control 10, work release secure. No, oh. thanks.
Uh, it makes me a little bit like, ah, oh, shit, they're flying outside the perimeter. How would he have got through? The same way he got through all the other times, I guess. I don't really care how you stop. I just want this this uh, whole thing to be done. Thank you, Robin Berardo. It's been a long time since the Super Chat came in, but I appreciate that. I'll just keep, I'll, I'll let it play for a while. We'll see what happens. I'm going to go, like, brush my teeth and shit. <laughs> Get ready while we... Security 112 to 102. Proceed 112. Am I staying here past 340 because the door's still locked, or do you want me to head back to the station? I'm actually in route to you right now. Okay. Name of Charlie.
Wow, so quiet, you guys. Uh, what would you, why do you want the the maps? What do you got? How much you want to bet? Let's see. When was that count? About wow, that was created just a few months ago. There, one emoji. I have a feeling you might be a troll. Just serious. I'm just saying. Okay. Yeah, the last one was at 12.30. I guess my stomach. I think so many rules freaked him out. Lost his school. What are you, who are you talking about? Mechanic. Oh, I see. Your account's pretty new, though, so we, we always get suspicious of new accounts. Yeah. Alright, so uh, to flash a map at you, the. Right now he's flying right up in this area here I guess the heat signature just went kaput <laughs> we what do you mean what time was the thermal capture it was just a heat signature uh, that was a few hours ago for sure. They actually brought this helicopter out specifically for that. Like, hey, we really need you out here regardless, you know, and he gets out there. Yeah, so two hours ago. How do you know, Georgina? What do you mean on t the TV rewind? Me my show on the rewind? Yeah, but it's 12.37 here. Do you live on the East Coast, Georgina? So you must be 3.30, so two, you're saying two hours ago. I think it might be before you that. Love it. it was looking good. I'd be really excited if the helicopter was hovering in one spot. I think that would be good. He's, He's, probably, He's, probably, <laughs> He's probably got a mountain over here somewhere just laughing. Yes, it's here, Paul, for you, Monty. Copy, assistance, say, well, around the house, just north of Littles. 
Oh, they're just north of Littles. Littles is uh, right there. What, what did he say there? Copy, he's just going to say, well, here around the house, just north of Littles. Well, I just want to you to go ahead. One seven Paul thirty five. Obviously, seeing PSC and walking around the house just north of Little. Yeah, my vehicle. Forty one. I got it. Man, let me say thanks to. Uh, yeah, it's here Paul forty one. Copy. This is gonna say. Yeah, Amy Hig, Cadillac. Yeah, it's here. Both cat uh, cat eyes. American it's lady. Forty four nine Maple Wood Drive. Perfect curly rail. Joel Sane. Cadillac gifted five memberships. Oh, okay. K. Me, yeah, Shelly Ann, Rachel Day, number nine, Maple Drive. and then Cadillac, and Amy Rastad oh. again with cat eyes. American Lady, Demona Viking, uh, Malico Hug, Trisha, Cairo, Cairo again, American Lady, Scott Holland, uh, Trisha gifted a membership, Haley Ryan, Kit Kat. Lisa Wilkerson, Robin Berardo, and uh, let's see. Then earlier today we had Linda and Sandra on PayPal. Thank you. So there you go. I like that fan funding thing. That's pretty cool. Yeah, but how could they not have seen them move? They're all standing right there. <laughs> it's like a hundred cops. And thank you guys, the Generous Freaks. We did two shows today. Got to the goal on each one of them, and then some. So, made up for a couple of, the, like a crappy day, but... Make sure to hit that subscribe button for me. Thank you very much. Still on the run. The cop caught my gun. Well, uh, I think the way he's traveling, he couldn't get very far in two hours. Because he's got to go through the woods and all kinds of shit. And I think he could probably get... Uh, you know, maybe... Maybe two, uh, like two miles or two and a half miles or something. I mean, it's pretty far if you can get outside the perimeter. He must be using one of the proverbial tunnels. Let me see something. If, if there's all these tunnels that everybody's aware about, why doesn't why don't the cops just barricade each of the tunnels you know you guys ever thought of that i mean what an easy thing to do just barricade the tunnels or man somebody at each of the tunnel entrances 
I mean, it just kind of makes sense. I don't know. Hey, no problem. Johnny Pearlcat. Thanks for the Gilgo coverage and tonight. Are you is it that thick of woods where you're at, Zozo? Well, how about you at least put a camera in each of the tunnels, okay? Okay, right now it's going over Littles. Now it's right in that little creek area here, finally. Will it stop? Will it hover? I slow a little bit right there. Back to the 3D view. One two nine, control ten, Lockhart just pulled in. Helicopter moves around like a UFO. Takes a dead left out of nowhere. Well, great. It's not really a helicopter. I mean, can't you tell? It's yeah, I know. It's it was a joke. Thank you. That's what it looks like down there. Thick. I think right now you're kind of in that same area where the creek is. I can see it down there.
Mm-mm. Yeah, look at it. There, it's really focusing in on those in that water area there. See, you know, you know those undercut banks that I was telling you guys about? Man, that could, they're all over the place here. I think he could just slide under there and you can't see them. They need to get people in the water. And he might have put his like rifle under a bush by a tree or something, then gets in the water. I don't know how long he could stay in the water. I mean, how cold it is or whatever. But, uh, man, they've got those crazy undercut banks. There's the pond right there about to fly over. Doesn't look like a pond currently, but that's the pond. So what you're looking at is just like a daylight version of probably exactly what it looks like. Uh, I mean, what it looks like currently, but it's dark outside. Meaning currently, meaning the trees are filled like that. Yeah, if I was him, I'd spend all the time flying just over the areas that have a bunch of trees. Yeah, it's very hilly. Very hilly here. That's the uh, littles again. So it's probably going to start turning in. Probably right there, like the watch. There he goes. <laughs> yeah. It's almost like I'm a psychic. He's gonna turn, he's gonna turn! Do it again, little buddy, skipper! Yeah, that's kind of similar. Oh, is it uh, dense near the ground at all? Or, or is it just the way it looks from the air? Because in these areas, it's just dense, like crap on the ground and the trees, everything. Just filled. guy's probably out of gas. Maybe when he flies away, I'll, that's when we'll end it. <laughs> but we haven't even heard any audio for a while either. Well, hopefully, uh, hopefully there, maybe there is audio. Hold on, let me check. What time is it? Twelve fifty one. No. Copy. Unit three nine four seven. NBC check for an animal complaint. Also okay. Also mama. Mm-hmm. 
But if something was really happening, wouldn't the helicopter be uh, providing light over the scene a little bit instead of just still flying around way over here? That's what I think. I, I get more excited when the helicopter pauses. Okay, I'm going to just stay for five more minutes. It's almost 1 a.m. Yeah, we know, Richard. We covered all that. Thank you. We completely covered the entire thing. Yeah, there's nothing. You're not getting anything new. We've been doing this for hours and hours listening to the... So the guy was standing right here, 50 feet in front. The light was in these trees right here. There's the pond. Here's Littles. This is the creek. Beaver Run. You must have missed it. No, he's got a well, he's got a um, a scope light for his gun. So now he doesn't have a torch light. But there were still cars on the road, Richard. So, I mean, did they he just sneak right by them? They didn't see it? There was all kinds of police officers on over here. The, the dispatcher was talking about where a, a vehicle is located, not where this guy was explaining it. so tired. My eyes are like hurting. No, it's not a moonwalk video. It takes too long to put it together. I already played it. <clears throat> you can just go back and hit the rewind. So you guys, I think I'm gonna. That's, I think it's about it right now. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna get the hell out of here. Thanks everybody for being here tonight, uh, supporting the channel, and everybody who subscribed, all the new members. Thank you very much. And we will see you tomorrow. Hopefully, wake we wake up to great news that he's been captured. Um, I'm just not gonna be one of the people that was sitting here hoping to God, uh, watching a helicopter go around in circles on a screen with no audio. <laughs> All right. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow. And, as I always say, everybody, until next time, be safe out there. Yeah, I've been doing this true crime thing for quite a while now. And during this whole time, I have not seen one person that is a... Crime Deceptor Not even one grain I'm Not even one Human lie detector Gonna get ya On a stretcher If you try and play me like an old projector Crime sector 
is my nectar. Professor Greg is gonna give another lecture. Cram collector, freak connector. And I'm always gonna be a pup protector. Fool deflector, interceptor. And I'm meaner than a specter with a vector. On his pector, with all respect, y'all. Just remember, I have a temple for conjecture. I have no agenda. I'm the pretender, and I'll serve it to you straight without the blender. And in the end, I'm gonna send ya on a mission to reveal the true offender. Good night, everybody. I'm tired. Me too, Mary Lou. I'm beat. Who the hell says that anymore? All right. Anyways, we'll see you guys later, and uh, be safe out there.